y'all clap your hands right quick. This is the last night. We might as well give it all we got. Turn it around, you say. 
officially the last night of Festival of Life here in Newark, New Jersey. I have to tell you that whether it was outdoors at Lincoln Park or right here indoors at Symphony Hall, the support from the community has been record setting. So far, an estimated 2,900 lives won for Christ, and we still have tonight, and that's not counting online salvation. I have to tell you, if you're thinking about giving to this ministry, there's one thing that you may not know, and I just want to tell you. See, part of the goal of this ministry is to work with local churches so that the life that has been spoken into the lives of so many people is nurtured and maintained and followed up on once Festival of Life leaves. As a journalist, I have to tell you that here I've been impacted by some of the most real stories about real people in real need. And I'm telling you, you can't beat this music and this jamming. You feel the Holy Spirit. You feel the move of God. You see it. The testimonies have been amazing. And I encourage you to give. You can do so now by entering hashtag the word donate and the amount you would like to give. You can also go to revivaltoday.com forward slash give and do so. We're having a good time here. Check it out. And it's just begun. So thank you for your prayers and your donations for Festival of Life. I'm Fior Hernandez. It has been an honor to serve. I'm going to let it shine. This light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Well, all I lay my burdens 
miracles have been taking place and we're about to go to another level in Christ. As a matter of fact, I believe we're raging war on the enemy. Anybody with me tonight? Anybody ready? Listen. Lord, have mercy. We got, we got a church tonight. Thank you. 
a hand clap ahead of time for everything that he's going to do. Welcome everybody on Christian Television Network. We're in 50 million homes. Welcome to North Jersey with the greatest people on planet Earth. Everybody's been coming to Symphony Hall. 
uh, uh, the last three nights, and then Lincoln Park, of course, where we started, over 3,000 decisions for Jesus Christ in Newark, just in less than a week. Hallelujah. Han habido más de 3,000 decisiones aquí en Nueva, en Newark, Nueva Jersey. Gloria al Señor. I want you, wherever you're at, to lift both hands to the Lord. Quiero que levante las dos manos donde quiera que se encuentre. Father, first of all, we give you thanks for everything you've done. Padre, primeramente te damos gracias por todo lo que has hecho. For all the salvations. Por todas las salvaciones. For all the miracles. Por todos los milagros. We give you the glory. Te damos la gloria. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. De nosotros no podemos hacer nada. So we acknowledge your hand as the doer of every good work. Reconocemos tu mano de toda buena obra. Thank you that you're not finished with America. Gracias que no ha terminado con América. And thank you that we don't have to wait for crooked politicians to wake up. Y gracias por que no tenemos que esperar por políticos corruptos para que se despierten. Thank you that we can appeal to a higher power. Gracias porque podemos ir a un poder más alto. And when we call on you, you answer us. Y cuando venimos sabemos que tú respondes. Thank you for saving people. Gracias por salvar gente. Thank you for delivering people. Gracias por libertar gente. Thank you for healing people. Y gracias por sanar gente. And thank you that the best is yet to come. Y gracias porque lo mejor viene de camino. And now on this final night, y ahora en esta última noche, we thank you that we know from your word. Te damos gracias porque sabemos por tu palabra. You didn't say have the best wine first, you saved the best wine for last. Y tú no diste el mejor vino al principio, tú dejaste el mejor vino al final. Thank you that you always save the best for last. Gracias porque tú siempre dejas lo mejor para lo último. Let there be more done this last night than all the other days combined. Que haga más hecho esta noche que todas las otras noches combinadas. In Jesus mighty name. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús. In Jesus mighty name. En el nombre poderoso Everybody said amen. Y todos gritan, amen. Give the Lord another great hand clap. Dale un aplauso fuerte al Señor. Somebody shout hallelujah. Alguien grita hallelujah. I want to thank all the pastors that stood with us in Newark. Queremos agradecer todos los pastores que se pasaron, que se pararon junto con nosotros en Newark. When you're an evangelist, all the pastors that help you, you're supposed to take them out for breakfast. Cuando eres un evangelista, a todos los pastores está supuesto sacarlo a un desayuno. But I hate breakfast and I hate waking up early, so I'm just going to say thank you at night. So a mí no me gusta despertarme temprano y tampoco comer desayuno, so te doy gracias desde ahora esta noche. Give all the great pastors of Newark that went after souls with us a great hand clap. Dale un aplauso fuerte a todos los pastores que juntamente con nosotros. Come on, really give them a great hand clap. They've not one backed out. Dale un aplauso fuerte. And so I really thank you. So en verdad te doy gracias. We've had over 400 volunteers come to help do this from all over America and Canada. Hemos tenido más de 400 voluntarios que vino de toda América de Canadá ayudarnos para este evento. I'm talking people took a week of vacation time from work and flew to Newark with their wife and just passed out flyers, handed out gifts, uh, distributed the food and so if you would thank all our volunteers with a great hand clap Dale un aplauso fuerte a todos los voluntarios que sacaron tiempo para dar comida y hacer diferentes cosas Now I'm just going to tell you this right up front Ahora le voy a decir esto desde ahora The next person that ever tells me have you ever uh, I heard you preached in Newark New Jersey Que si alguien me pregunta he escuchado que predicado en Newark Nueva Jersey Boy that's a rough place Eso es un lugar difícil My promise to you is I will punch that person in the face Mi promesa a ti es que yo le voy a dar un puño en la cara You say I thought you were a preacher Yo pensaba que era predicador I will punch them with an anointing Yo voy a dar un puño con una unción because we have done six nights of meetings. Porque hemos hecho seis noches de reuniones. Three nights in Lincoln Park. Tres noches en Lincoln Park. Not one incident with security or the police. No había ni siquiera un Not incidente one. con la seguridad o policía. Ni siquiera uno. If you go to a Yankees game, si tú vas a un juego de los Yankees, and you sit in the seats that cost three thousand dollars a seat, y te sientas en uno de los asientos donde cuesta cuesta tres mil dólares, those rich people from Manhattan get drunk and get in fights. Esa persona rica de Manhattan se emborracha y tienen peleas. So don't run down Newark to me. So no me hables mal de Newark a mí. These are some of the greatest people I've ever preached to in sixteen years. He sido una de las mejores personas que he predicado en dieciséis años. Last night we anointed everybody with oil that wanted prayer. Anoche ungimos todas las personas que deseaban la oración con aceite y oración. People waited in line for 40 minutes for prayer and without any kind of altercation. Habían gente esperando por 40 minutos esperando por ser orado sin ninguna altercación. 
There was a minister named R. W. Shambach who used to preach in Newark regularly. Había un predicador por el nombre de Shambach que predicaba regularmente aquí en la ciudad de Newark. How many of the older people that are here remember those meetings? Cuántos de los más ancianos se acuerdan de esas reuniones? He had major miracles in Newark. Y ocurrían milagros grandes en la ciudad de Newark. Brother Shambach's a friend of our family and he went to heaven in 2013. Y Shambach es amigo de nuestra familia y él y fue al cielo en 2013. And I'm glad to see this week that what God did through Brother Shambach isn't going to stop with him. God's going to continue to shake Newark by his power in Jesus' mighty name. Y le doy gracias a Dios que lo que Dios hizo con Shambach no se va a terminar con él, sino que va a seguir moviéndose en estos días. I'll say one more thing before I start preaching. Voy a decir una, algo más antes de que comience a predicar. I'm not a Republican. No soy republicano. And I'm not a Democrat. Tampoco soy demócrata. I'm an ambassador from heaven. Soy un embajador del cielo. I'm actually a representative of an army that's about to invade this place pretty soon. Soy representante de un ejército que ya pronto va a invadir este lugar. So actually what I'm saying is not meant to be politically divisive. Lo que estoy diciendo no es para acontecer una discusión política. But city governments make it very difficult to help black people from the outside. Pero el gobierno de la ciudad lo hace tan difícil para ayudar a los afroamericanos de afuera. You would think if a 37-year-old boy like me raised $100,000 to help people in the inner city, everything would just be donated from the city. Pensaría que un muchacho de 37 años levantar 100 mil dólares para ayudar a afroamericanos dentro de la ciudad, la gente se van a no van a apoyar. The city of Newark did everything to shut us down from the beginning. La ciudad de Newark hizo todo lo que hizo desde desde el comienzo. And then secondly, y segundo, once they realized they couldn't shut us down, cuando se dieron de cuenta que no nos pudieron cerrar, they tried to charge us as much money as possible for every possible thing. Ellos trataron de cobrarnos lo más dinero por todo lo que queríamos hacer. So instead of 100,000 ends up costing 140,000. So en vez de 100,000 nos costó 140,000, which is no problem because I'm rich. Y no hay problema porque soy rico. But, pero I brought that up for this reason. Lo traje por esta razón. All the backpacks we gave away, all the food that we gave away. Todos los eh, los mochilas y toda la eh, comida que dimos. If 80% of the cost wasn't brought, paying off city officials, imagine how much more we could give out. Si 80% de eso no fue para pagar los oficiales, imagínense cuánto más pudiéramos dar. So I'm going to come back to Newark at some point. Yo voy a regresar a Newark en algún momento. There's an old saying that I go by. Hay un dicho viejo que yo sigo. Anything the devil doesn't want you to do once, do it twice. Lo que el diablo no quiera que lo haga una vez, hazlo dos veces. And so, if they want to run me out of Newark, I'm going to keep running back into Newark. Si me quieren sacar de Newark, voy a seguir regresando a Newark. You know, there's a scripture in the Bible. Hay una escritura en la palabra. The Bible says one city got so mad at Paul, they drug him out of the city and stoned him to death. La Biblia dice que una ciudad se molestó tanto con Pablo que lo arrastraron fuera y lo apedrearon. The believers gathered around Paul to bury him. Y los creyentes se apusieron alrededor para enterrarlo. And he popped up from the rubble and said, who are we burying today? Y él se levantó y dijo, ¿a quién? But that wasn't it. Pero eso no fue todo. Paul didn't say, "I better get out of here before they find out I'm alive." Él no dijo, "Yo déjame salir antes de que se den de cuenta que estoy vivo." The Bible says he got up and went right back into the city and continued preaching. La Biblia dice que regresó a la ciudad, comenzó a predicar. I'm not a punk American preacher. Yo no soy un tonto predicador. I don't get pushed around by politicians. A mí no me puede empujar los políticos. The church is anointed to do the pushing around. La iglesia es ungida para empujar. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Jesús dijo, edificaré la iglesia y la puerta del infierno no prevalecerá contra ella. And so I don't know when I'll see you again, but it won't be long. So no sé cuándo lo voy a regresar a ver, pero no va a ser muy lejos. Because you stole my heart this week. Porque ustedes robaron mi corazón esta semana. So I want to tell you as a vow, so quiere decirte con un voto whatever crap I have to put up with que lo que yo tenga que enfrentar I made up my mind this week I'm going to stand with the black community from now till when Jesus comes estoy decidido de hoy pararme firme con la comunidad afroamericana antes de que Cristo venga and, it, and I, I'm not going to use the black community for political gain. Y tampoco lo voy a usar para un juego político. Somebody once said, are you going to run for office sometime? Alguien me preguntó si voy a correr para la oficina en algún momento. Why would I run for office? Para qué voy a correr para una oficina, una I'm already in my office. Ya yo estoy en mi oficina. I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Soy ministro del evangelio de Jesucristo. Ordained by God. Ordenado por Dios. Nobody voted me in. Nadie me votó adentro. Nobody can vote me out. Nadie me puede sacar. 
from now till when Jesus comes, I'm going to bless people. Hasta este punto, hasta que Cristo venga, voy a bendecir gente. You say, what about the Spanish community? Y la gente pregunta, ¿y de la uh, comunidad hispana? Well, that goes without saying. Y eso no va sin decir. I married a Puerto Rican. Me casé una puertorriqueña. And then five years ago, I made another Spanish person. Y cinco años después, hice otro hispano. My daughter Camila. Mi hija Camila. So I'm with them whether I want to be with them or not. So estoy con ellos aunque no quiera estar con ellos. If I ever took a stand against the Spanish community, I'd have a lady in my house with a switchblade to my neck. Sí, si yo me pongo en contra de la hispano, yo tuviera una mujer con un cuchillo en mi cuello. The devil's not going to have the last say in America. El diablo no va a tener la última palabra en América. I said the devil's not going to have the last say in America. Yo dije que el diablo no va a tener la última palabra en América. You see all this stuff about school shootings and heroin. Tú ves todo lo de disparo de la escuela, heroína. The devil may have had the first laugh. El diablo quizá tuvo la primera risa. But you will laugh last Pero in Jesus' mighty name. Ríe último en el nombre de Jesús. If you believe it, clap those hands again and give God a mighty shout. Si tú lo crees, aplaude ante el Señor. Come on, give God the highest praise. Dale al Señor la adoración fuerte. Somebody shout hallelujah. Alguien grita aleluya. Now, tonight is the last night. Esta es la última noche. We have an app that I want you to download. Tenemos una aplicación que puede bajar. The app is free. Es gratis. Revival today. Revival today. That's our ministry. Ese es el nombre del ministerio. How many of you have enjoyed the preaching this week? ¿Cuántos han gozado la prédica esta semana? Well, I made a 24-hour radio station on that app. Yo hice una un radio de 24 horas en esa aplicación. I'm not a speaker. No soy un alguien quien habla. I'm a preacher. Soy un predicador. And so there's something on preaching that it's called the anointing. Hay algo en la predicación que se llama la unción. Listen to me very carefully. Escúchame bien. Your life will basically be determined by one thing. Tu vida va a estar determinada por una cosa. The level of faith that you carry in your spirit. El nivel de fe que tú cargas en tu espíritu. The Bible says this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. La Biblia dice que esta es la fe que ha ganado la vida. En este mundo, nuestra fe. When faith is low, the devil beats you for free. Cuando tu fe está bajo, el enemigo te golpea de gratis. When you keep your faith level high, you prevail in every battle of life. Y cuando tienes nivel de fe alto, tú prevaleces en todo en tu vida. How could Daniel get thrown in the lion's den and the lions never go near him? ¿Cómo es que Daniel puede entrar dentro de la cueva de los leones y los leones no se la ni siquiera se acerca? And then his accusers get thrown in the lion's den and before they hit the ground. They're torn limb from limb. Y luego los acusadores entraron en la misma cueva y ellos fueron eh, eh, comidos eh, pedazo por pedazo. The Bible tells you in Hebrews 11, Daniel prevailed by faith. Y la Biblia dice en Hebreo 11 que él prevaleció por fe. Can you say amen? Puede decir amen. So if faith is the difference between death and life. So si fe es la diferencia entre muerte y vida. Between victory and defeat. Entre victoria y derrota. And the Bible is clear that it's your job to keep your level of faith high. Y la Biblia dice que tú eres tu trabajo de mantener tu nivel de fe alto. You can't blame God. Tú no puedes culpar a Dios. Because all things that pertain to life and godliness have been made available. Porque todo es hecho y está disponible por el poder de Dios. You getting mad at God because life is hard is like getting mad at Exxon because your car ran out of gas. Es molestándote con Dios porque la vida es difícil es como se molesta con la estación de Exxon porque tu carro se quedó sin gasolina. The gas is available but you have to keep your car full. La gasolina está disponible, pero es tu trabajo de mantener la gasolina en tu vehículo. So the question is, how do you keep your tank of faith full? Entonces la pregunta es, ¿cómo tú mantienes el tanque lleno? And let me let me throw this in. Y, y permíteme decir esto. Most people wait till their faith is on empty to realize they have a problem. Mucha gente espera que esté vacío para entonces darse de cuenta que tienen problema. You can live with your meter on E or you can live with your meter on F. Entonces tú puedes vivir con la en e, o tu aguja en F. You're going to leave this meeting tonight with it on F. Y tú sales de este lugar con la aguja e, estando en lleno. But how do you keep it on F? Pero entonces, ¿dónde, cómo, ¿cómo tú lo mantienes ahí? Because people say, man, re God really touched me that week. Y alguien dice que Dios me tocó esta semana. But then a couple months later, it's like everything went away. Y un par de meses después, como si todo se vació. That's like saying, I ate a really big meal for Thanksgiving, but then by Christmas, I was really hungry again. Es como decir, comí bueno en acción de gracia pero en Navidad ya yo estoy que estoy hambriento. You don't eat once a month. Tú no comes una vez al mes. You eat a minimum of three times.
times a day. The Bible says meditate on my word day and night. La Biblia dice medita mi palabra día y noche. And so how do you keep your tank on F? Entonces cómo lo mantiene en lleno? Where does faith come from? De dónde viene la fe? If you listen to most Christians, you'd think faith came by having your pastor keep you in prayer. Y si tú oyes muchos cristianos como si el pastor es que te mantiene en oración y ahí mantiene tu fe. Keep me in prayer, Reverend. Eh, manténme en oración, Reverendo. I need, I need a lot of prayer. Necesito mucha oración. No, actually you don't. No, en verdad no lo necesita. Because my wife can't go to the gym for me and work out for me. Porque mi esposa no puede ir al gimnasio y trabajar por mí. Every man and woman is responsible for their own level of faith. Cada hombre y mujer está responsable por su nivel de fe. So let's answer the question. How do you keep it full? There's only one way in the Bible that faith comes. Faith comes by. Man, if I was preaching at a Bible college, I don't know if they would answer as good as you. You have it right. Faith cometh by. La fe viene por el oír. Hearing, hearing by the word of God. Y oyendo la palabra de Dios. It's like this week. Es como esta semana. Sometimes you would stand on the field and think I'm going to stay for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to go sit down somewhere. Te el parque y quizá dijiste voy a esperar 15 minutos y luego me voy. Next thing you knew it was an hour and 20 minutes later and you hadn't moved and you felt stronger. Y luego te diste de cuenta pasó una hora 20 minutos y todavía está de pie te siente más fuerte. Because faith carries power. Porque la fe carga poder. And it comes from hearing the word preached. Y viene por el oír la palabra predicada. So I made an app where you can listen to preaching all the time. So hice una aplicación donde puede escuchar predicación todo el tiempo. I preach at least six times a week. Yo predico por lo menos seis veces a la semana. So there's fresh messages on there all the time. So hay mensajes frescos todo el tiempo. So download that app today, Revival Today. So puede bajar la aplicación hoy, Re Revival Today. And if you don't know what an app is, ask your four-year-old grandchild and they'll hook you up in about 90 seconds. Y si tú no sabes lo que es una aplicación, pregúntale a tu nieto de cuatro años y ellos te lo van a conectar. I wish that was a joke, but it's not a joke. No es un relajo, es cierto. Can you say amen? Puede decir amen. Tonight is the final night. Esta es la última noche. Friday night. El viernes. And so we leave everything on the table. So dejamos todo aquí en la mesa. This is breakthrough night. Esto es la noche de rompimiento. What is breakthrough night? ¿Qué es noche de rompimiento? If you've been held in bondage for 30 years, tonight's the night you break through forever. Si has estado atado por 30 años, esta es la noche que tú rompes para siempre. Everybody watching on TV, tonight's the night you break through forever. Lo que están viendo a través del televisor, esta es la noche que rompe para siempre. I want you, if you have your Bible, to turn with me to the book of Genesis. Si tienes tu Biblia, quiero que eh, vayas al libro de Genesis. Genesis 32. Genesis 32. Genesis 32, verse 24. Genesis 32, verse 24. And I'm going to read through verse 30. Hasta el verso 30. First in English and then in the lovely language of Spanish by my handsome interpreter. Hallelujah. Galatians 32, 24. This left Jacob all alone in the camp. And a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. When the man saw that he could not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. Then the man said, let me go, for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What's your name, the man asked. He replied, Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now on, you will be called Israel. Because you have fought with God and with men and have prevailed. Please tell me your name, Jacob said. Why do you want to know my name, the man replied. Then he blessed Jacob there. Jacob named the place Peniel, which means face of God. For he said, I have seen God face to face, and yet my life has been spared. 24 to 30 in Spanish. Así se quedó Jacob solo y luchó con él un varón hasta que rayaba el alba y cuando el varón vio que no podía con él tocó en el sitio del encaje de su muslo y se descuyuntó el muslo de Jacob mientras con él luchaba y dijo déjame porque raya el alba y Jacob le respondió no te dejaré si no me bendices y el varón le dijo cuál es tu nombre y él respondió Jacob y el varón le dijo no se dirá más tu nombre Jacob, 
sino Israel porque has luchado con Dios y con los hombres y has vencido Entonces Jacob le preguntó y dijo declárame ahora tu nombre y el varón respondió ¿Por qué me preguntas por mi nombre? Y lo bendijo allí y llamó Jacob el nombre de aquel lugar Peniel Porque dijo vi a Dios cara a cara y fue librada mi alma Y cuando había pasado Peniel le salió el sol y cogiaba de su cadera I felt to read you one more scripture since it's the final night Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 What is the blessing of God? Here it is outlined in the Bible This is what God said, if you receive the blessing, will come upon your life. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commands that I'm giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the world. You will experience all these blessings. Everybody say, I'll experience all these blessings. If you obey the Lord your God, your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit baskets and breadboards will be blessed. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. Can you say amen? amen? The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They'll attack you from one direction, but they'll run from you in seven. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord your God will bless you in the land that he's giving you. If you obey the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he swore he would do. Then all the nations of the world will see that you're a people claimed by God, and they'll stand in awe of you. The Lord will give you prosperity. I don't believe in prosperity. Well, too bad. It's there anyway. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you, blessing you with many children, numerous livestock, and abundant crops. The Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many, but thou shalt not borrow. You will lend to many, but you'll never borrow from anyone. You will lend to many, but you'll never borrow from anyone. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, the last time a car title loan made money off of you, it'll never make money off you again. From this day forward, you will lend to many, but thou shalt not borrow. If you believe that, put those hands together and give God a mighty shout. The Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many, but you'll never borrow from anyone. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I'm giving you today and be careful to obey them, listen to this. The Lord will make you the head and never the tail. You will always be on top. You will never be at the bottom. But you must not turn away from any of the commands I'm giving you nor follow after other gods and worship them. That was Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. Tell them in Spanish. Eso fue Deuteronomio 28, versos 1 al 14. And so I'm not going to have him read that long passage again in another language, but if you speak Spanish, you go home and read that in your Bible. I didn't make it up. Yo no me inventé eso. Lo puede ir a su casa y leer ese mismo texto. Now remember, this book is not a religious book. Ahora, ¿cuál es este libro? No es un libro religioso. This book was authored by the Holy Ghost. Esto fue designado por el Espíritu Santo. The same way it worked 2,000 years ago, it works in every nation of the world. Y de la misma manera que funcionó 2,000 años atrás, es la misma manera que funciona en todo el mundo. Jesus said, the grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. La Biblia dice que el campo pasa, pero la palabra de In Asbury Park, they tried to shut our meeting down. In Asbury Park, trataron de detener la reunión. They said he still preaches that old stuff from the Bible. Él todavía predica esa cosa vieja de la Biblia. But I have news for America. Pero tengo noticias para América. America doesn't need a Bible that fits America. América no necesita una Biblia que se encaja en América. America needs to get shaken by the old-fashioned fire of God and come up into God's high standard. Necesita una palabra que antigua que sacuda. A la nación. And I want to stand with the Apostle Paul tonight and say this. I don't care whether CNN 
CNN approves of this book. No me interesa si es, si el CNN aprueba este libro. I don't care what Democrats or what Republicans don't like this book. Ni tampoco me interesa si los republicanos o los demócratas aprueban este libro. One day there'll be no more CNN. Un día no va a haber CNN. One day there'll be no such thing as Democrat or Republican. Ni tampoco va a haber un día donde haya demócrata o republicano. But the word of God will stand forever. Pero la palabra de Dios permanece para siempre. Let me tell you something tonight. Permíteme decirte esto. You see me preaching in this suit. Me ve predicando en este traje. There was a day where there wasn't one Shuttlesworth that was a Christian. Había un día donde no había un Shuttlesworth que no era cristiano. Many of you know about inner city poverty. Usted conoce muchas veces de la pobreza dentro de la ciudad. But in the country, there's just a different kind of poverty. Pero allá en el campo hay otro tipo de pobreza. My grandfather's father worked in a coal mine. El abuelo, el papá de mi abuelo trabajaba en una mina. When you worked in the coal mine, you weren't even paid with U.S. dollars. You were paid with company script. Y cuando te trabajaba en la mina, no te pagaban con dinero, te pagaban con otra cosa. That could only be redeemed at the company store. Que solamente podía usarse en la tienda de la compañía. Everybody in our family was poor. Toda mi familia eran pobres. Nobody was saved. Nadie era salvo. My grandfather wandered into a meeting like this in the 1940s. En los 1940, mi abuelo entró en una reunión como esta. Gave his life to Jesus Christ that night. Dio su vida a Jesucristo esa noche. Married my grandmother at Bible College. Se casó mi abuela en el colegio bíblico. And they decided to build their life on this book. Y decidieron edificar su vida en este libro. They had four sons. Tuvieron cuatro hijos. All of them are preachers. Todos son predicadores. All of them are on their first wife. Todos están en su primera esposa. I'm one of the grandchildren. Yo soy uno de los nietos. I'm preaching tonight in Newark. Estoy predicando hoy en Newark. The next oldest is across the river in Brooklyn preaching. El mayor está predicando en Brooklyn. My sister's preaching tonight in Montreal, Quebec. Y mi hermana predica en Montreal. We don't go to jail unless it's to preach. Nosotros no vamos a la casa menos que predicar. We don't go get loans to pay for our stuff. No buscamos préstamos para pagar por cosas. When my grandfather turned the family over to Jesus. Cuando mi abuelo entregó la familia a Jesucristo. And built it on this word. Y lo edificó en esta palabra. The power that's in this book transformed our last name. Y el poder, el poder que está en el libro transformó nuestro apellido. I want you to know something from the Bible tonight. Quiero que sepa algo de la Biblia esta noche. The Bible says a righteous man leaves an inheritance to his children and his children's children. La Biblia dice que un hombre justo deja una herencia a sus hijos y los hijos de sus hijos. I've had a very easy time in life. He tenido un tiempo fácil en mi vida. Because my grandfather left me an inheritance. Porque mi abuelo me dejó una herencia. To build my life on this book. Edificar mi vida en este libro. Some of you were left the opposite kind of inheritance. Y otros le dejaron otro tipo de herencia. The family was built on alcoholism. En la familia fue edificado en alcoholismo. The family was built on violence and uncontrolled temper. Fue edificado en violencia. But everything's going to change tonight for your family like it did for mine 60 years ago. Pero todo cambia esta noche por tu familia como cambió por la mía 60 años atrás. Because when you make up your mind to serve the Lord, porque cuando te decides servir a Dios, Paul told the jailer in Acts 16, Pablo le dijo al carcelero en Hechos 16, Today salvation has come to your house. Hoy salvación ha llegado a tu casa. Jo Joshua said in Joshua 24:15. Y Josué dijo en 24:15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yo y mi casa serviremos a Jehová. Somebody's going to take a stand tonight. Alguien se para firme esta noche. And say enough is enough. Y van a decir ya suficiente. I'm not going to. I live in America, but I'm not going to live like America tells me to live. Yo vivo en América, pero no voy a vivir como ellos me dicen. I'm going to be a book of Acts Christian who lives in America. Voy a ser un cristiano del libro de Hechos que vive en América. You heard all those blessings. Tú escuchaste todas esas bendiciones. I'll bless you in the city. Te bendigo en la ciudad. I'll bless you in the field. Te bendigo en el valle. I'll bless your children. Te bendigo a tus hijos. Though your enemy attacks you from one direction, I'll make them run from you in seven. Aunque el enemigo te ataque una dirección, yo lo hago que se huya en siete direcciones. What was your only part to play? ¿Cuál era tu parte de jugar? God said, if you will serve me diligently. La Biblia dice que si tú me sirves diligentemente. No one should have to encourage you to go to church on Sunday. Nadie debe de animarte para que vaya a la iglesia el domingo. You drive through Newark or drive through Camden on Sunday morning. Tú guías por Newark o Camden el domingo por la mañana. People are standing outside spraying their their sidewalk down with a hose. Hay gente con una manga echándole agua a las flores. What good is it to go to hell and have the cleanest sidewalk? De qué vale que tú vayas al cielo, al infierno, para limpiar la 
God, God said, if you'll take the first hours of a new week and give them to me. La Biblia dice que si tú entregas a Dios las primeras horas de la semana, yo te bendigo. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Y entra por acción de gracia por sus puertas. Father, thank you for a new week. Gracias por una semana nueva. I set this week apart to you. Yo separo esta semana para ti. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yo estaba alegre con los que decían, vamos a la casa de Jehová. If you make God's house a priority, God will make your house a priority. Si tú pones la casa de Dios como prioridad, Dios hace tu casa una prioridad. When people go through a hard time, cuando la gente pasa por un momento difícil, the devil gets them to blame God. La, el diablo hace que ellos co- se quejen con Dios. Man, I've been having a hard time, preacher. He tenido un tiempo difícil, predicador. My child's sick. Mis hijos enfermos. We don't have any money. No tengo dinero. Where's God? ¿Dónde está Dios? Where are you? ¿Dónde estás tú? God has no responsibility to track you down. Dios no tiene ningún una responsabilidad para but the Bible says if you'll draw near to God he will draw near to you I'm here to encourage you tonight it's not Sunday morning it's not Easter it's not Christmas Eve and here you are at a gospel meeting so I'm, I'm not rebuking you I leave tonight but I want to put something in your spirit pero quiero poner algo en tu espíritu that the same way you made a decision tonight que de la misma manera que tomaste una decisión to not be getting drunk at the corner de no emborracharte en una esquina not be at some skanky club downtown o de estar en un club en downtown but to be singing praises to God pero cantar canciones ante Dios hearing the word of God preached escuchando la palabra de Dios predicada I want to tell you you'll be amazed what happens yo te voy a decir que quedará atónito lo que va a pasar if instead of making this a one night thing y en vez de hacer una sola noche you make up your mind tonight I will serve the Lord with all my heart all my mind and all my strength if God can find somebody like that he will bless them if you're going to be one of that new generation Christian put those hands together and give God the mightiest shout that you've ever given anybody Aplaude y de grito ante Dios. Get God's attention tonight. Toma la atención de Dios esta noche. This blessing is real. Esta bendición es real. I want to preach to you about the blessing of God in the minutes that remain. Quiero hablarte de la bendición de Dios los minutos que faltan. The blessing of God is real. La bendición de Dios es real. We prevail in life by the blessing of God. Prevalecemos por la vida con la bendición de Dios. Not by might. No por fuerza. Not by power. No por poder. But by my spirit, says the Lord. Pero por mi espíritu, dice el Señor. When God blesses you, cuando Dios te bendice, no man can curse you. Ningún hombre when God blesses you if every witch in Newark put a curse on you the Bible says the curse causeless shall not come their curse will fly in your direction there will be an angel standing in front of you not a little baby with a harp an angel with a gold tooth and a neck tattoo and it'll say to that curse from the witch where do you think you're going the Bible says it'll grab that curse and throw it back to the sender you can actually get a reputation among witches do not mess with that family do not mess with that church I've joined that company of the untouchables yo me uní esa compañía de los intocables the devil doesn't like me but he can't stop me El diablo no me gusta, pero él no me puede tocar. and I'm calling you over to the winning side tonight Te llamo al lado ganador esta noche. you don't have to struggle Tú no tienes que you can be blessed puede ser bendecido. so be blessed in Jesus name sea bendecido, que be Dios blessed Dios. in Jesus name sea bendecido, blessed Dios. in the city bendecido let your children be blessed tus hijos let your bendecido. grandchildren be blessed Su nieto bendecido. in Jesus mighty name en el nombre de Jesús. if you receive Receive that blessing. Si recibe la bendición. One last time, put those hands together. Aplaudo una vez más. And give God a great shout of praise. Y dale a adoración Let a Dios. the redeemed of the Lord say so. Que los redimidos lo digan. I am redeemed. Soy redimido. I am redeemed. Soy redimido. 
I've been bought with a price. He sido comprado Jesus por has changed my whole life. Jesucristo ha cambiado mi vida. If you're redeemed, can you shout amen like thunder? Si eres redimido, grita amen con trueno. If you're redeemed, can you shout amen like thunder? Si eres redimido, grita amen como trueno. There's a verse in the New Testament. Hay un verso en el Nuevo Testamento. They don't preach it much in America. No predica mucho en América. Godliness holds profit both now and in the life to come. Dios tiene profetas antes y ahora y en la vida que viene. When God blessed Abraham, cuando Dios bendijo Abraham, when God blessed Isaac, cuando él bendijo a Isaac, they weren't walking around pouring six and one day I'll be in heaven. Ellos no estaban caminando diciendo un día yo voy a estar en el cielo. They began to prevail from the moment God blessed them. Ellos comenzaron a prevalecer desde el momento que Dios los bendijo. Abraham was an unknown living in his father's house at 70 years old. Abraham estaría 70 años viviendo en la casa de su papá. And when God met up with him he became a mighty nation. Y cuando Dios se encontró con él se convirtió una nación grande. That nation is still in the Middle East today. Y esa nación todavía está vivo hoy. 7.5 million people. 7.5 millones de gente. Surrounded by 200 million enemies that want them dead. alrededor de 200 millones que desean que estén muertos. But they can't touch them. Pero no lo pueden tocar. I read an article in the New York Times. Yo leí un artículo en el en los Times de Nueva York. Not the Bible, the New York Times. No la Biblia sino el periódico Four years ago, cuatro años atrás Hamas terrorists launched 4400 rockets into Israel los terroristas de Hamas lanzaron unos cohetes en contra de Israel the terrorist that they interviewed said this el terrorista que entrevistaron dijo lo siguiente they have a system called Iron Dome that blew all our rockets out of the sky. Ellos tienen un sistema que se llama el Donio de Hierro que botó todos los cohetes del cielo. Then the terrorist said this. Y el terrorista dijo esto. Anytime one of their rockets missed one of our rockets. Cada vez que uno de sus cohetes falló uno de nuestros cohetes. I watched as their God changed the direction of the rocket. Yo vi como el Dios de ellos cambió la dirección de esos cohetes. That man wasn't a Christian. Ese hombre no era cristiano. That man was an avowed enemy of Israel. Él era un enemigo voto en contra de Israel. And he said, I watched as their God defended them. Y dijo, yo vi como el Dios de ellos los defendió. What did God say in the Bible? Que dijo Dios en la Biblia. He said, even the heathen will see you and know that you're a people claimed by God. Él dijo, aún los circuncisos van a saber que tú eres gente clamado por Dios. How come some of you meant to come one night and you've come all week. Porque algunos de ustedes solamente estaban supuestos a venir una noche y ha venido todas las noches. And when you started coming, you weren't saved. Y cuando tú empezaste no estaba salvo. You said there's something different about that skinny guy. Hay algo diferente de ese hombre flaco. He's not a normal preacher. Él no es un predicador normal. I can tell that God is with that boy. Puedo darme de cuenta de que Dios está con él. And I'm going to tell you after tonight. Y te digo después de esta noche. The people in your neighborhood will know something has changed in your life. La gente en tu vecindad sabrá que hay algo diferente en tu vida. They'll say there's something not normal about them anymore Hay algo diferente que no está gay que que no estaba antes Because God will live in you Porque Dios vive en ti God will live around you Él va a vivir alrededor de ti He orders his angels to protect you wherever you go Y él envía sus ángeles que te defiendan donde quiera que vaya There's many of you that if I gave you the opportunity Hay muchos de ustedes que si le diera la oportunidad You can preach about what it's like to be cursed Tú puedes predicar de lo que es ser maldecido The Bible says trouble chases sinners La Biblia dice que los problemas siguen a los pecadores But blessings chase the righteous. Pero la bendición sigue el justo. If I could interview some of you one on one. Si lo pudiera entrevistar a alguno de ustedes uno a uno. You say man I've done everything I know to do and nothing works out. Y tú puedes decir yo he tratado de hacer todo lo que puedo pero nada me funciona. That's because you can't break a curse by willpower. Porque tú no puedes romper una maldición con fuerza natural. You can't educate yourself out from under a curse. Tú no puedes ser educado fuera de una maldición. When Adam sinned a spiritual curse came on mankind. Cuando Adam pecó una maldición espiritual cayó sobre la humanidad and a curse can only be broken by blood y la una maldición solo puede ser roto con sangre so God sent a lamb from heaven so Dios envió un cordero del cielo his name is Jesus Christ su nombre es Jesucristo I said his name is Jesus Christ yo dije su nombre es Jesucristo if people tell you that this is a cult si la gente dice que esto es una secta 
I want to ask you a question. Quiero hacerte una pregunta. Which one time this week did I tell you how great I am? Que cuando en esta semana yo te dije cuán grande soy yo. We've stood here every night. Hemos estado aquí de pie todas las noches. Telling you about Jesus. Hablándote de Jesús. I didn't break the curse. Yo no más rompí la maldición. But Jesus broke the curse. Pero Jesús rompió la maldición. The devil is such a dummy. El diablo está un tonto. He thought if he could nail the Son of God to a cross, he could put him to death. Él pensó que si clavaba al hijo de Dios en una cruz lo ponía en una muerte. But his great plan to take the Son of God out backfired. Pero el gran plan que él tenía falló. The Bible says when he shed his blood. La Biblia dice cuando él derramó su sangre. His blood broke the curse of sin over all mankind. Su sangre rompió el pecado y la maldición sobre la humanidad. This is not my first week preaching. Esto no es mi primera semana predicando. I preached in India. Yo he predicado en India. Central Africa. En, en, en Hawaii. En Hawaii. And when I go, they say, why are you bringing that American religion over here? Y cuando me traen, me dice, ¿por qué tú traes esa religión americana aquí? But I have news for everybody watching and everybody here. Y yo tengo noticias para todos aquí, todos los que están viendo. This isn't an American religion. Esto no es una religión americana. This isn't a European religion. Esto no es una religión europea. When I preach in Africa, there's a group of people that say, they, the Europeans use this to enslave black people. Y la gente en algún grupo porque África dice que los europeos usan esto para eh, poner a gente en esclavitud. But if you turn to the book of Genesis, pero si tú vas al libro de Génesis, it doesn't say God created white men in His image. La Biblia dice que Dios no creó a los blancos en su imagen. It says God created man in His image. Dios dice que Dios creó a la humanidad en su imagen. And in His image and likeness created He them. En su imagen y semejanza los creó. And then He blessed them. Y luego los bendijo. God, He blessed whites. Él los bendijo los blancos. He blessed them. Él los bendijo. And said, "Be fruitful. He said, 'Multiply. Multiply. He said, 'Fruitful. And replenish the earth. He said, 'Ah, la tierra.' Oh, that's an American gospel. Eso es un un evangelio I, americano. I have news for you. Tengo noticias para ti. Jesus wasn't from America. Jesús no era de América. Abraham wasn't from Detroit. Y Abraham no era de Detroit. Isaac wasn't from the Bronx. Y Isaac no era del Bronx. Jacob wasn't from Texas. Y Jacob no era de Texas. This is the gospel of God to the generations of the world. Este es el evangelio de Dios para la generación. Del mundo. People say, was Jesus white? Ellos preguntan, Jesús era blanco. Was Jesus black? Él era moreno. Was Jesus Spanish? Él era hispano. The Bible says he was the Lamb that was slain for all the nations of the earth. La Biblia dice que él era el cordero de Dios que fue eh, torturado por toda la nación de la tierra. I had a guy write me on Facebook one time. Yo tuve un hombre que me escribió en Facebook. He en said, How come you never address the problems of the black church? Pero por qué tú no dirige todos los problemas de la iglesia afroamericana? I said, Because there's no such thing as a black church. Porque no hay tal cosa como una iglesia Morena. If you go to a church and it's all white people, there's a problem. Si tú vas a una iglesia y solamente hay blanco, entonces hay problemas. If you go to a church and it's all black people, there's a problem. Y si tú vas a una iglesia y solamente son todos todo afroamericanos, hay problemas. I preached in Finland. Yo he predicado en Finland. That's about as white as you can get. Y hay más blanco no puede ser. And when I started preaching like this, y cuando yo comencé a predicar así, Nigerians started to come in off the street. Los de Nigeria comenzaron a abrir de la calle. Two rows of men from Iraq came and got saved. Y dos filas de los gente de Irak because Jesus isn't a white man's God. Porque Dios no es un Dios de blanco solamente. The black men can't claim him. Y los moreno no lo pueden reclamar. The Spanish can't claim him. Los hispanos no lo pueden reclamar. The Chinese can't claim him. Los otros no lo pueden reclamar. He is the Son of the Living God. Él es el hijo del Dios viviente. Who died that all men could be saved? Que murió que toda la humanidad sea salva. If you're thankful to Jesus, put those hands together and give him another shout. Si está agradecido a él, aplauda en esta hora y de grito de júbilo. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And any time, any time there's a Holy Ghost meeting, y cada vez que hay una reunión del Espíritu Santo, it draws in all people. It trae todo tipo de gente. Can you say Amen? Puede decir Amen? Because Jesus isn't interested in redeeming one ethnic group. Porque Dios no está eh, solamente buscando un grupo solamente. Ético. He loves everybody. Él ama a todos. When you start preaching under the anointing, cuando tú comienzas a predicar bajo la unción, without even trying, sin tratar, the crowd becomes more diverse than a McDonald's. Commercial. Even in this crowd tonight, you have every shade of skin there is. From heart of Africa black to, to Irish white and every shade in between. Jesus is coming soon. He wants all men to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. If anybody asks you why, I came to Newark. Si alguien te pregunta por qué yo vine a Newark, paid 
money to go to this hall. Pagué dinero para llegar a Paid money for the park. Pagué dinero para el parque. Paid the police and paramedics. Pagué los policías los paramédicos. 140,000. 140,000. It's a small price to pay. Es un precio pequeño pagar. What is your soul worth? Cuánto vale tu alma? Who can put a value on a man's soul? ¿Quién puede poner un valor en el alma de un hombre? Jesus didn't pay 140,000 dollars for your soul. Jesús no pagó 140,000 por tu alma. He paid with his blood. Él pagó con su sangre. He gave all his blood. Él dio toda su sangre. And I'll tell you before that. Y te digo aún más. Before he went to the cross. Antes de que él fuera a la cruz. They tied him to a post. Lo amarraron en un poste. They whipped his back 39 times. La tigaron su espalda 39 veces. Till it was wide open. Hasta que estaba abierto. So that you could be healed. Para que tú pudieras ser sano. So that you could be healed. Para que pudieras ser sano. That was not for your sin. Eso no fue por tu pecado. All your sickness. Toda tu enfermedad. All your disease. Was laid on him, fue puesto sobre él. and by his stripes you are healed. Y por sus heridas, eres sanado. He was wounded for our transgressions. Fue herido por nuestra transgresión. He was bruised for our iniquity. Herido por nuestros pecados. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Y su paz fue sobre él. And by his stripes I am healed. Y por sus heridas soy sano. If you're thankful for Jesus, can you say amen? Si está agradecido por Jesús, dígame amen. That's a good New Jersey amen. Somebody Eso shout. Amen. Jesus is the Lamb of God. Jesús es el Cordero de Dios. He died for you. Él murió por ti. But death couldn't keep him down. Pero la muerte no lo pudo detener. Death is the strongest power at the disposal of the devil. El la muerte es el poder más fuerte que tiene el diablo. And Jesus made a mockery out of death. Y Jesús se burló de la muerte. The Bible says when they came into the tomb, la Biblia dice que cuando entraron a la tumba, the stone had already been rolled away. La piedra había sido removida. An angel was sitting on top of the stone. Y un ángel estaba sentado encima de la piedra. One angel. Que ángel. Not Gabriel. No Gabriel. Not Michael. No Miguel. Probably the lowest one. Quizá el más bajito. God probably said, hey you, go get him out. El Dios ve, sal, sácalo a él. They had guarded him in the tomb with Roman soldiers. Habían, lo habían guardado con soldados romanos. One angel came. Un ángel vino. And they all fell down like dead men. Y todos cayeron como muertos. Man, you know you're somebody special when they protect your tomb so you don't come out. Tú sabes que tú eres alguien especial cuando protegen tu tumba para que no salga. Think of this with me. Piensa esto. They sealed him in with a stone. Lo sellaron con una piedra. And they put guards all in the front. Y pusieron oficiales enfrente. And one angel came. Y un ángel vino. All the soldiers fell dead. Todos los soldados cayeron the como muertos. The angel rolled the stone. El ángel movió la piedra. And Jesus walked up out of the grave on the third day. Y Jesús salió de la tumba al, cual, al tercer día. Now I'm going to tell you this. Ahora te voy a decir esto. If that same Jesus. Si ese mismo Jesús. Lives on the inside of you. Vive por dentro. That man can make the greatest plan to keep you down. Entonces el hombre puede hacer el plan para mantenerte abajo. But the same way the Roman government couldn't keep Jesus sealed up. Pero de la misma manera que el gobierno romano no lo pudo mantener. The power of Christ on the inside of you. El poder de Cristo dentro de ti. Will propel you to be the head and never the tail. Te va a preparar para que sea la cabeza y nunca la cola. When you don't have Christ. Cuando no tiene a Cristo. You're always looking up at what's against you. Tú siempre estás mirando qué está contra ti. But I came to tell you tonight Pero vine a decirte esta noche, if every man is for you but God is against you you're a dead man but on the flip side Pero en el otro lado, if every man is against si you todo hombre está en contra tuya, and God is for you y Dios está por you're ti, going straight to the top tú vas para encima, whether the government likes it or not el que el gobierno le guste o no. I prophesy tonight in the name of Jesus esta noche en el nombre de Jesús. today is the lowest you'll ever be Hoy será el último día que será Somebody is going to break the hold of the devil forever tonight. Rompe la garra del diablo esta You're noche. coming out. Sale hoy. Your children are coming out. Tus hijos salen. Your grandchildren are coming out. Tus nietos salen. In Jesus' mighty name. En el nombre de Jesús. If you're the one I'm talking about, let your hand clap be the loudest. Si eres tú con quien yo hablo, que tu aplauso sea fuerte. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Aplaude, pueblo. Shout unto God with the voice of God. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. Jesus Christ, Jesus King of Kings, Rey de Reyes, Lord of Lords, Señor de and He shall reign forever and ever. Para siempre. Somebody shout Hallelujah! Alguien grita Hallelujah! Do you know that electricity you're feeling right now? ¿Tú sabes esa electricidad que siente ahora? 
That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Ese es el evangelio de Jesucristo. That's why they try to shut down these meetings outside in a park. Por eso que trataron de cerrar estas reuniones afuera. Before the devil enslaves any nation, he has to get rid of this book. Antes de que el diablo pueda poner en clavitud una nación, tienen que deshacerte de ese libro. Because this book gives liberation power to anybody that receives it. Porque este libro da poder de liberación a quien que lo recibe. Racism can't keep you down when this power is on the inside of you. Racismo no te puede mantener abajo cuando este poder está dentro de ti. People start to not care what color you are. La gente no le importa qué color eres. I was preaching in Barbados in the Caribbean. Estaba predicando en Barbados en el Caribe. We had 5,000 people on the field. Teníamos teníamos 5,000 personas en el parque. Tons of people got saved. Miles de gente fueron salvos. I was coming off the platform. Estaba saliendo de la plataforma. I was probably the only white guy on the whole island. Quizá yo era el único blanco en toda la isla. And when I came off the platform, I heard somebody yell. Preacher. Y cuando alguien, cuando yo bajé, alguien gritó predicador. I looked and it was this big Rasta man. Y cuando yo lo vi era un hombre ras grande. He had to be six seven, six eight. Él tenía que ser como seis siete, seis ocho. Long dreads. Tenía su pelo largo. He said, I want to give you a hug. Él dijo, yo quiero abrazarte. He was so big, I thought, well, whatever you want. Él era tan grande, yo dije lo que quiera. He said, "Can I tell you something?" Yo te puedo decir algo. I used to hate white people. Yo antes odiaba blancos. Who knows? Maybe saw an episode of Friends. Who could blame him? Quizá vio un episodio de Friends. ¿Quién lo puede culpar? He said, "I heard you preaching, and I thought you were black." El yo te escuché predicar y yo pensaba que era moreno. He said, "When I came and saw that you were white, I thought I'm leaving." Y cuando vi que era blanco, yo dije, yo me voy. But he said, as soon as I thought I'm going to leave, cuando yo pensé que me iba a ir, I felt something leave me. Yo sentí algo que se fue. All of a sudden, y de repente, as much as I hated you, now I really love you. That, that's why the government can never solve racial problems. Y por eso que el gobierno no puede resolver problemas de racismo. Because the problem is not racism. Porque el problema no es racismo. The problem is not poverty. Y tampoco es pobreza. The problem is not gun violence. Y tampoco es violencia de armas. The problem is the devil. El problema es el diablo. Who comes to steal, kill, and destroy? Que viene a robar, robar, matar y destruir. But when you kick his head, pero cuando tú and throw his rear end out. Y lo saca fuera. God will put a new spirit in America. Él pone un espíritu nuevo en América. And replace hate with love. Y le damos a él todo el amor. Replace fighting with love. Y lo hacemos con amor. The love of God casts out all fear. Y el amor de Dios echa fuera todo the temor. The only answer for America is revival. Y la única respuesta para América es avivamiento. Lift your hands all over this room. Levanta la mano en este salón. Let the fire of God sweep through Newark tonight. Y que el fuego de Dios abrace a Newark esta noche. Let the glory of God go out from this building. Y la gloria de Dios salga de este edificio. Let people feel it in crack houses. Y la gente lo sienta en los hogares de crack. Where gangs are meeting right now, let them feel the glory of God. Donde las pandillas se reúnen que sientan la gloria de Dios. I pray that what we started this week. Yo oro que lo que hemos empezado esta semana. Will be the beginning of a mighty earthquake. Que sea el comienzo de un terremoto fuerte. Turn sons back to fathers. Que los hijos vuelvan a los padres. Turn fathers back to sons. Y padres que regresen a sus hijos. In Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name every work of the devil against Newark, New Jersey everything that's been planted in this nation that's not been planted by God let it be uprooted and destroyed tonight in Jesus name lift your hands one last time Levanta tus manos una vez más. forget the nation now make it personal Ahora yo voy a hacerlo personal. Everything that's been planted in your family that's not been planted there by God. Todo lo que fue sembrado en tu familia que no fue sembrado por Dios. Somebody always sick. Si alguien siempre enfermo. Everybody never has enough money. No, nadie tiene suficiente dinero. I curse the work of the devil in your home. Yo maldigo las obras del diablo en tu casa. Every spirit of poverty. Todo espíritu de pobreza. Every spirit of infirmity. Todo espíritu de dolencia. Every spirit of death. Todo espíritu de muerte. You will never bury another child. No vas a enterrar a otro niño. Today the blessing of God invades your home. Esta noche la bendición de Dios invade tu casa. I said today the blessing of God invades your home. Yo digo que esta noche invade tu casa. And the curse is changed to a blessing. Y la maldición se convierte en bendición. If you believe it, can you shout Amen? Si puede gritar. If you believe it, can you shout Amen? Si puede gritar Amen. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind. Yo oigo el sonido de un viento recio. The TV just gave us 30 more minutes. I must be preaching good. Hallelujah! America shall be saved! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Your 
best days are not behind you. Your best days are yet to come. Who does the devil think he is? He doesn't have permission to take out my people. I stand tonight. In my office as a man of God. Enough is enough. No more overdoses. No more death. No more Let revival sweep this land. In Jesus' mighty name. If you're with me, take 30 good seconds. Put those innocent hands together. Announce the defeat to the devil. Your hand clap is announcing that his reign of terror is over. Tu aplauso le está diciendo al diablo que ya se acabó. Go ahead, 15 more seconds. 15 segundos más. I feel the Holy Ghost. Siento el Espíritu Santo. I feel the Holy Ghost. Siento el Espíritu Santo. Greater is He. Grande es Él. Who lives in me? Que vive en mí. Than all those that are in the world. Que todos los que están en el mundo. It's time to stand up and speak. Es tiempo de pararse y hablar. The devil's not over my head. El diablo no está encima de mi the cabeza. The devil's under my feet. Él está debajo de mis pies. Get back in your place. Ponte en tu lugar. Enough's enough. Ya es suficiente. It's time to put that sucker on the run. Es tiempo de que él comience a huir. I don't know how well I can put this into words. Yo no sé cómo poner esto en palabras. But I can tell you from a child's perspective. Pero yo puedo decirlo de una perspectiva de un hijo. How wonderful it was to have a father that carried the power of God. Qué tremendo era que ver un padre cargando el poder de Dios. He didn't teach me what wine goes with what dishes. Él no me dijo qué vino va con cualquier plato. He didn't teach me how to do a shot. Él no me enseñó cómo dar un tiro. He taught me how to access the power of God. Él me enseñó cómo accesar el poder de Dios. And boy, it's made for a wonderful life. Y has hecho una vida hermosa. I went to go preach at a church in Maryland. Yo fui a predicar una iglesia en Maryland. This lady was in her 40s. Esta mujer estaba en la edad de 40. She said, "Is your wife with you?" El día ella preguntó, "Tu esposa está contigo?" I said, "Yeah." Yo dije, sí. She said, "I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I want to meet your wife." Pero yo no quiero que tú pienses que soy rara, pero quiero conocer tu esposa. She hadn't even said hello to me. Ella ni siquiera me dijo hola a mí. I said, "What's with this obsession with meeting my wife?" Y cuál es la obsesión de conocer a mi esposa? She said, "Your dad preached at this church 30 years ago." Y tu papá predicó en esta iglesia 30 años. Your mother had Atrás. you in the church nursery, and I had my daughter in the church nursery. Y tu mamá te tenía en el cuarto y también yo tenía mi hija en otro cuarto. And as your mother was rocking you in the nursery. Y mientras tu mamá te ponía a dormir en el cuarto. She was praying in tongues. Ella estaba orando en lenguas. And then she began to pray, Lord, prepare a wife for my son. Y ella comenzó a orar, prepara una esposa por mi hijo. I was only one. Yo solamente tenía la edad de uno. But my mother was already praying into my future. Pero ya mi mamá oraba en mi futuro. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord answered her prayer. Y Dios contestó mi oración. I've had her the same one for 11 years. He tenido la misma por 11 años. If I come back next Next year, I'm not swapping her out for another model. You don't have to live up and down. You can access spiritual power. And go from glory to glory. Victory to victory. And strength to strength. If you receive it, put those hands together again and give God a great shout. Si tú lo recibes, aplaude una vez. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Alguien grita hallelujah. Somebody say this. Curses are real. Alguien diga maldiciones son reales. If it seems like nothing works out, you're right. It won't. Si algo no funciona, es correcto, no va a funcionar. And you can have every preacher and their wife pray for you. Nothing will change. Y tú vas a tener todos los predicadores y su esposa que oren y nadie va a cambiar. Until something changes within you, Hasta nothing will ever change outside of you. Hasta que algo cambie dentro de ti, nadie va a cambiar afuera. That's where people wear themselves out. Por eso es que la gente se gasta. I need more money. Necesito más dinero. My children are wild. Mis hijos son Everything's not working out. I need to fix all these things. Tengo que arreglar estas cosas. If the root of the tree is rotten, the branches are rotten. Si entonces si la raíz del árbol está mal, todas las ramas están malas. But if you let God take that root out tonight, pero si tú permites que Dios saque esa raíz, and put in you a new heart, y te dé un nuevo corazón, it'll begin to produce fresh branches. Comienza a producir ramas nuevas. That produce good fruit. Y bueno fruto. As hard as it was to walk in victory. Así como difícil que era caminar en victoria. 
blessing of God will make it that easy. La bendición de Dios lo va a hacer fácil. Did you notice what the Bible said in Deuteronomy 28? Though your enemy will attack you from one direction. Que aunque el enemigo venga de una dirección. He said, I will make him run from you in seven. Yo lo voy a hacer huir en siete direcciones. Not you pray about it. No que vas a orar. Not you fast. No que vas a ayunar. Not you go like this with a frown. Y que haga así. You just keep walking. Tú solamente sigue caminando. And I will fight your battle. Y yo peleo tu batalla. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Esta noche en nombre de Jesús. Every battle in your life. Cada batalla en tu vida. Gets transferred out of your hand into the hand of God. Se transfiere de la mano de tuya a la mano de Dios. And that God has never lost a battle. Y ese Dios nunca ha perdido una batalla. And he's not going to start with you. Y él no va a comenzar contigo. Receive your victory now Recibe in Jesus name. Tu victoria ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Somebody shout hallelujah. Alguien grita hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Curses are real. Bendiciones son real. But the blessing is realer. Pero la bendición es más real. It's not some fantasy land. No es algo de fantasía. Though your enemy attacks you from one direction. Aunque tu enemigo venga de una dirección. Did the city try to shut this meeting down? La ciudad trató de cerrar esta reunión? Yes. Sí. Were they able to? Eran capaz? No. no. We upgraded from outside to the Muppet Theater. Si nos movimos de afuera adentro. We moved uptown. Nos movimos por arriba. Air conditioning. Con aire acondicionado. Padded seats. Con sillas. What the devil means for bad, God will flip it and turn it for good. Lo que el diablo quiso para mal, Dios lo cambia para bien. In the same way God worked for me. Y de la misma manera que Dios plantó. He'll work for you. Él trabaja para ti. Because he loves everybody. Porque él ama todo. The question is not whether God will do it. La pregunta no es que si Dios lo hace. The question is you believe la pregunta es crees and not just believe in your head y no solo creer en tu cabeza act on your belief actúa en tu creencia if you will serve me si me sirves with all your heart con todo tu corazón then i will bless you entonces te bendigo the ball is in your court todo está a tu lado that's how blessing works así es que la bendición funciona you can go to a psychic shop and have her bless you tú vas para un salón de psíquico te va a have the psychic give you relationship advice que te den una un consejo de eh, why don't you ask her where her last three husbands are? Pregúntale dónde están sus últimos tres esposos. Why don't you ask her if she's a psychic? Why she bought the worst real estate in all of New Jersey? Y por qué si ella es psíquica, por qué ella compró el peor de terreno? Can I tell you something? Te puedo decir algo. The devil doesn't know what's going to happen five minutes from now. El diablo no sabe lo que va a pasar de aquí a cinco minutos. The devil is not God's evil equal counterpart. Él no es igual a Dios, pero malvado. The devil was created by God. Él fue creado por Dios. As an angel. Como un ángel. When he tried to usurp God's authority, God threw his sorry behind out of heaven. Y cuando él trató de usar su autoridad, Dios lo sacó del cielo. He's not any match for God. Él no tiene no tiene igualdad a Dios. And because he's a created being, his knowledge is limited. Y como es un ser creado, su eh, eh, conocimiento es limitado. Psychics don't know what they're talking about. Los psíquicos no saben lo que están hablando. But God is not an angel. Pero Dios no es un ángel. God is the Alpha and the Omega. Él es el Alfa y el Omega. The Most High God. El Dios Altísimo. Higher than the highest. Más alto que lo más alto. Wiser than the wisest. Más sabio que los sabios. The Almighty God. El poderoso Dios. Is there anything too hard for me? Habrá algo muy difícil para mí. God knows the future better than you know the past. Él conoce el futuro mejor que tú conoces el pasado. And he said, if you ask, I'll clue you in. Y él dice, si me pide, yo te incluyo. I, how many of you were here when we prayed for everybody last night? ¿Cuántos estaban aquí que oramos por todo anoche? We had a lady testify. He said that I have herniated discs in my back. Alguien testificó que él dijo que yo tengo unos discos fracasados en mi espalda. How could he know that? ¿Cómo él sabía eso? I've been trying to tell you for five nights. I'm a man of God. Te estaba tratando de decir por cinco noches soy un hombre de Dios. And as I go on my mission for God, y cuando voy en mi misión por Dios, God makes you privy to what He knows. Dios te hace que escuchar lo que él conoce. See that woman that's coming. She has problems with the discs in her back. Ella tiene problemas con discos en su espalda. Call it out and I'll heal her. Reclámalo y yo la sano. God knows your future. Él conoce tu futuro. And if you serve him, he won't let you get surprise attacked. He'll tell you things that are to come. Y si tú le sirves, no te va a permitir que vengan ataques de sorpresa. Él te va a decir. Even this week, aún esta semana. 
They yanked the permit on the outdoor crusade. Ellos sacaron el permiso de la cruzada fuera. This was the only suitable place on short notice. Esto era el único lugar en de noticia corta. They said it's going to cost an extra forty thousand. Te dijo dijeron va a costar otros cuarenta mil. What are we going to do? Y qué vamos a hacer? It wasn't a problem. No era problema. When I was praying for these meetings, cuando yo estaba orando por estas reuniones, God spoke to me. Dios me habló. Don't raise a hundred thousand. Raise a hundred and fifty thousand ahead of time. No levante cien mil. Levante ciento cincuenta mil de antemano. Before the attack came, antes de que viniera el ataque, God already made a, a plan for the provision. Ya Dios hizo un plan para la provisión. You can't mess with who God has blessed. Tú no puedes fracasar para atacar lo que Dios ha bendecido. How would, how did we prevail? Cómo nosotros prevalecimos? By the blessing of God. Por la bendición de Dios. God doesn't have a blessing for me and a lower blessing for you. Dios no tiene una bendición alta para mí y una más baja para ti. The same blessing that's in this Bible. La misma bendición que está en esta Biblia. Any sucker in this this building can access it. Cualquier persona en este edificio lo puede accesar. And you access it by faith. Y lo accesa por fe. Lord, I'm tired of doing things my own way. Estoy cansado de hacer las cosas de mi manera. I will walk according to your word. Voy a caminar basado tu palabra. You're going to do that tonight. Tú vas a hacer eso esta noche. And the light of that blessing will erase all the darkness out of your family. Y la luz de esa verdad va a borrar toda la oscuridad. If you believe and shout amen like thunder. Si tú lo crees, grita amen como trueno. I'll tell you one last thing and then I'm going to pray. Te voy a decir algo último y entonces voy a orar. Say this, curses are real. Diga maldiciones son real. Say it out loud, curses are real. Maldiciones son real. But the blessing is greater than the curse. Pero la bendición es mayor que la maldición. And I close telling you this. Y cierro diciéndote esto. The blessing works everywhere. La bendición funciona donde sea. It doesn't just work in religious settings. No solamente funciona en lugares religiosos. What I'm doing here, I can do anywhere. Lo que yo hago aquí lo puedo hacer donde quiera. I don't have to have somebody on the organ. Yo no tengo que tener alguien el piano. I don't have to have a bishop's chain with a gold cross. Yo no tengo que tener una cadena con una cruz. I'm anointed in a suit. Estoy ungido en un traje. I'm anointed in Superman pajamas. Estoy ungido con pijama de Superman. I'm anointed on Yom Kippur. Yo estoy ungido en Yom Kippur. I'm anointed on St. Patrick's Day. Estoy ungido en el día de San Patrick. I'm not blessed on Sunday. No estoy bendecido el domingo. I'm blessed 168 hours a week. Estoy bendecido 168 horas de la semana. And it works everywhere. Y funciona donde sea. I'll bless you in the city. Te bendigo en la ciudad. I'll bless you in the country. Te bendigo en el campo. I'll bless you when you come in. Te bendigo cuando entras. I'll bless you when you go out. Y te bendigo cuando salgas. I'm going to give you an example of when this became real to me. Te voy a dar un ejemplo cuando esto se hizo un real para mí. The warden of a prison in Pittsburgh got filled with the Holy Ghost in one of my meetings. El capitán de una prisión fue salvo en una de mis reuniones. She said, "Will you come and speak at the prison in Pittsburgh?" Ella te atreves a venir a predicar en la prisión de Pittsburgh. Well, I read in the Bible that if you don't visit prisoners, you go to hell. So I had a selfish reason to go. Yo leí en la Biblia que si tú no visitas los presos vas al infierno. So yo tenía una razón egoísta. I go to the prison. Voy a la prisión. Thirty-three violent offenders. Treinta-tres ofensores violentos. And they looked like thirty-three violent offenders. Y parecían ofensores violentos. One guy had a pentagram tattooed on his hand. Uno tenía un tatuaje en su mano. And a goat skull on his neck. Y otro tatuaje en su cuello. So I didn't need the gifts of the Spirit to know he probably wasn't a deacon. Ellos tú no tú necesitabas los dones del Espíritu para saber que no era diácono. Those guys were sitting there staring at me like. Y eso estaban sentados así mirándome de esta manera. But on my way to preach there. Pero de camino a yo predicar ahí. I got so drunk on a scripture. Me emborraché tanto en una escritura. The Bible says in the book of Mark. La Biblia dice en el libro de Marcos. There was a man that was so violent that no one could go near that section of the town. Había un hombre tan violento que nadie podía ir a esa sección del puente de la ciudad. But when Jesus stepped on the shore. Pero cuando Jesús se paró en la playa. That man ran to Jesus and bowed down and worshipped him. Ese hombre corrió a Jesús y se postró y lo adoró. So that scripture had me intoxicated. So esa escritura me tenía intoxicado. I thought the same anointing that was on Jesus is on me. Yo pensé la misma unción que estaba sobre Jesús está sobre mí. And the same way it neutralized the violence in that man, it'll neutralize the violence in these guys. Y de la misma manera que calmó esa unción calmó lo que estaba sobre este hombre va a calmar lo mismo que está sobre esta gente. Because if God doesn't protect you, you're finished. Porque si Dios no te protege ya está terminado. They gave me a guard. 
Me dieron un oficial. But there were 33 of them. Pero habían 33 de ellos. And a guard with one gun and 11 bullets. Y había solamente un policía con un la pistola y 11 balas. I only got a C in math. Yo solamente recibí una C de matemática. But even I could do the math. Pero yo también podía hacer la matemática. 33 guys. 33 hombres. 11 bullets. 11 balas. It doesn't take 22 felons to kill me. No toma 22 hombres para que me maten. But the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Can you shout amen? And so I started preaching. So comencé a predicar. My preaching was going nowhere. Y mi predicación no iba a ningún lugar. They were not Christians. No eran cristianos. In fact, I, when I prayed in the beginning, so cuando oré al comienzo, I said in Jesus' name, everybody said. Y yo dije en el nombre de Jesús todos dicen. And they just looked at me like we don't know what to say. Y ellos me miraron no sabemos qué decir. But the anointing works everywhere. Pero la unción funciona donde sea. I started preaching about Jesus. Comencé a predicar de Jesús. They were staring me down. Me estaban mirando. But all of a sudden. Pero de repente. Everybody say the blessing works everywhere. Diga la bendición funciona donde sea. Say the blessing works everywhere. Diga la bendición funciona donde sea. You don't have to do some religious thing to make it work. Tú no tiene que hacer algo religioso para que funcione. You don't have to use some phony preacher voice. Tú no tiene que usar una voz de predicador falso. I hear go, those guys talking that voice. I wonder if they talk it like that in real life. Y yo oigo la voz muchas veces. Yo pregunto si predi si hablan así todo el tiempo. I wonder if those bishops go to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Y yo me imagino que si esos obispos van a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I like three drumsticks. Ah. Yo quisiera tres pollos. A Pepsi with ice. Ah. Un Pepsi con hielo. Let me try this cashier over here. Déjame tratar esta cajera aquí. You don't have to go in some phony voice. Tú no tienes que ir una voz falsa. Just operate in the power of God. Solo operar en el poder de Dios. Can you say amen? Puedes decir amen. So I'm talking to those prisoners. So estoy hablando a esos prisioneros. It's not getting anywhere. No está llevando a ningún lugar. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit pops something in my spirit. De repente, el Espíritu pone algo en mi espíritu. I said, there's a man in this room. Yo dije, hay un hombre en este salón. When you were five years old. Cuando tenía la edad de cinco. Your grandmother used to hold you on her lap. Tu abuela te aguantaba en su falda. Put her hand on your head. Ponía tu, su mano sobre tu cabeza. And say, God's going to use you to preach. Y te decía, Dios te va a usar para predicar. None of those guys even looked like they had grandmas. Y muchos de ellos no parecían que tenían abuelas. And I thought, this is the craziest thing to say to these people. Yo dije, esto es algo más loco para decir a esta gente. I, I got ready to say, I don't know which one of you it is. Yo estaba a punto de decir, yo no sé quién de ustedes es. But before I could say that. Pero antes de que yo pudiera decir eso. This big Dominican guy fell out of his seat onto his knees and lifted his hands. Este hombre grande. De dominicano se cayó sobre su rodilla y levantó sus manos. And he said, Santo, Santo. And he said, Holy, Holy. And started to cry. Y comenzó a llorar. You could tell those guys had never seen him cry before. Tú podías ver que la gente no habían visto a ese hombre llorar antes. Two teardrop tattoos. Él tenía tatuajes de dos lágrimas. Nice scar over his eye. O una herida sobre su ojo. And he has his hands lifted, crying under the anointing. Tenía sus manos levantadas llorando bajo la unción. I said, I guess we know who it is. Yo dije, me imagino y sabemos quién es. I said, Stand up, my my friend. Yo dije, ponte de Pie, mi amigo. Lift your hands. Levanta tus manos. And I did something that I didn't know was illegal. Y yo hice algo que yo no sabía que era ilegal. You're not allowed to touch the prisoners. Tú no no tiene permiso de tocar el preso. But how was I supposed to know? Pero cómo sabía yo? I've never been to prison before. Yo, yo nunca había entrado en prisión. And so I walked over to him and put my hand on his head. Yo me acerqué, puse mi mano sobre su cabeza. I said, God brought me to this jail today. Yo Dios me trajo a esta prisión este hoy. The words your grandmother spoke in faith will come to pass. La, la palabra que tu abuela dijo va a pasar. I lay my hand on you now as a servant of God and God fills you with his spirit and you will preach the gospel well if you're going to do something illegal you might as well make it really illegal I said all 32 you stand up and line up against the wall you talk about authority there's nothing like the anointing those guys don't even listen to the guards look how skinny I am Mira que flaco soy. Newborn babies have more muscle tone than me. I said, que every yo. one of you stand up and lift your hands. Yo dije, Cada uno de este, ponte de pie, Everyone. Y todos pusieron así. I said it was so much authority. Había tanta autoridad. That when I looked behind me, que cuando miré atrás, the guard had his hands lifted. Aún el policía tenía sus manos levantadas. With his eyes closed. Con sus ojos cerrados. Gun. La pistola. Keys. Llaves. I felt like saying, 
not you. You watch and pray. Gee, only by the grace of God am I alive. That dummy. So I said, everybody, keep your eyes closed. I didn't want to see that joker they gave me as a protector. It's only by the grace of God I didn't get stabbed by a sharpened toothbrush 11 times. I went down the line and laid hands on all those guys. Those guys that didn't even know you say amen after you in Jesus' name. Fell against the wall and were crying. I said, now everybody that needs to receive Jesus Christ, I want you to lift your hands. 32 of the 33 lifted their hands. The Satanist with the pentagram tattoo didn't lift his hands. But when I looked over at him, when my eyes met his eyes, he went like this. And the anointing got all 33. Hallelujah. Go ahead and rejoice. The Lord did it. Now, I told you that story. To let you know if you, don't, if you think I don't know where you live. And that this blessing only works in church. First of all, we're not in church and it's still working. Secondly, the blessing will overwhelm any curse. The same way I was able to go in that correction center and overwhelm it by the blessing of God. Listen very carefully. Darkness never drives out light. Light always drives out darkness. This place is very dark when they shut these lights off. But all they have to turn on is one light. The light doesn't struggle with the darkness for 30 minutes. The light no lucha con la oscuridad por 30 minutos. La luz solamente saca la oscuridad. Lift your hands all over this place. Levanta tus manos sobre este lugar. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesucristo es la luz del mundo. When he comes into your heart, cuando él entra a tu corazón, everywhere your foot will tread, you'll be on land that God has given to you. Donde tú pisares, Dios te va a estar pisando terreno que Dios te ha entregado. Every woman and man in the sound of my voice. Toda mujer y hombre al sonido de mi voz. When you go home tonight, cuando tú vayas a tu casa esta noche, whatever wickedness is in that home will not overwhelm you. Toda la maldición que está sobre esta casa no va sobre eh, prevalecer contra ti. The fire of the Holy Ghost and you will overwhelm the wickedness in that home. El fuego del Espíritu Santo que está dentro de ti va a prevalecer lo que está en tu casa. It won't take five minutes. No va a tomar cinco minutos. Greater is he who lives in you mayor es el que vive en ti than every demon spirit that's in the world. Que todo el espíritu demoníaco que está en el mundo. If you believe it, put those hands together one final time. Si tú lo crees, aplaude una vez más. Last thing I'm going to tell you. And then we pray. What does the blessing entail? What can you expect from the blessing? Number one, everybody say divine health. Divine health. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. When I grew up in church, they didn't teach that. They said, how many of you know we could all die at any time? Speak for yourself. Chump. I'm not dying anytime soon. Whatever demon is assigned to take me out, I plan on frustrating him for at least 60 more years. If Jesus tarries, I'll be standing in Newark at 90 years old with ears the size of satellite dishes. And I won't need a stool. I'll stand and preach under the unction of the Holy Ghost. With long life will I satisfy you. The blessing of God entails divine health. So lift your hands all over this room. Levanta tus manos sobre este cuarto. Every kidney disease, toda enfermedad de riñones, liver disease, 
Liver disease, de, 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 lung problem, problema de pulmones, heart problem, problema en corazones. Every infirmity that the devil settled you with to make life miserable. Toda enfermedad que el diablo ha puesto para hacer tu vida miserable. I curse it now in Jesus' name. Lo maldigo ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Be thou made whole. Se sano by the blood of Jesus por Christ. La sangre de Jesucristo. Everybody that's watching on television. Todo lo que están viendo a través de televisión. I lose the anointing into your living room right now. Desato la unción en tu sala ahora. Be whole. Se lleno. Be whole. Se sano. Be whole. Se sano. Now uh, it's my last night. En mi última noche. So if you think I'm crazy, you already think I'm crazy. Si quiere que yo soy loco, pues ya lo piensa. So I might as well tell you the story. Pues déjame contarte la historia. There's a man that goes to my home church. Hay un hombre que va a la iglesia de mi casa. My pastor was preaching on Sunday night. Mi pastor estaba predicando el domingo la noche. This man, 75 years old. Este hombre de la edad de 75. He lived under bridges for 50 years. Él vivía debajo de puentes por 50 años. Did every kind of drug you can do. Él ha hecho todo tipo de droga. They had to take one of his lungs out tuvieron que sacar uno de sus pulmones my pastor didn't know that mi pastor no sabía eso he was preaching under the anointing él estaba predicando bajo la unción went over to the old man él fue a aquel anciano and slapped him in the chest y lo dio un golpe en su pecho you better do that under the anointing or you're going to be on judge duty tú debes de hacer esto bajo la unción o te van a llevar a corte and he said be whole in Jesus name y él dijo aquí en nombre de Jesús that man was on a lung transplant list for them to put a new lung in ese hombre estaba en una lista de recibir un trasplante de pulmones his name finally came up a week later y una semana después su nombre apareció he went to get the lung put in y él fue para que le dieran los pulmones they ran the scans ellos corrieron los exámenes the doctor came out scratching his head y el doctor salió rascando su cabeza he said where do you want us to put the new lung pero donde tú quieres que pongamos el pulmón nuevo he said in his gruff voice where you took the old one out pero donde sacaste lo el viejo they said look do you have two lungs there now? God not only has power to heal. Our God is a miracle working God. I prophesy tonight in Jesus' name. God is going to do miracles in America. Then shut the mouth of every skeptic. He is alive. He is alive. And when you call on him, he'll answer you. Clap those hands again and give God a great shout. Aplaude y grita una vez más. Number two. Número dos. The blessing of God makes a man rich. La bendición de Dios hace un hombre rico. Not meets a man's needs. No solamente llena sus necesidades. Makes a man rich. Hace un hombre rico. What I'm going to say, I'm not saying bragging on me. I'm bragging on God. Yo lo que voy a decir, no estoy diciéndolo por mí, lo estoy diciendo por Dios. The way you know what I'm preaching is not bullcrap, is this. La manera que tú sabes lo que estoy predicando no es algo falso, es de esta manera. How can a 37-year-old boy give out a thousand boxes of groceries? Como un muchacho de 37 I'm not backed by any organization. No tengo respaldo de ninguna organización. The political parties not only didn't help me, they tried to hurt me. Y el partido político no solamente no me ayudaron, quisieron herirme. Who gave me enough food to feed a city? ¿Qué me dio suficiente comida para dar de comer una ciudad? I'm not supposed to be trying to help a city at 37. I'm supposed to be trying to provide for my wife and daughter. Y yo no estoy supuesto tratar de ayudar una ciudad a la edad de 37. Yo estoy supuesto ayudar a mi esposa, mi hija. But when God anoints your head with oil, pero cuando Dios unge tu cabeza con aceite your cup that was empty begins to overflow. La el copa que estaba vacío comienza a a rebosar. The blessing of the Lord makes a man rich. La bendición de Dios hace un hombre rico. And he adds no sorrow. Y no añade tristeza. Lift your hands all over this theater. Levanta tus manos sobre este parque. You'll never be broke another day in your life. Tú jamás será pobre otro día de tu vida. The God that provided for Abraham. El Dios que proveyó para Abraham. The God that provided for my parents and grandparents. El Dios que proveyó para mis abuelos. He will become your source tonight. Él va a ser tu recurso esta noche. El Shaddai. El the God of more than enough. If you receive it, let your hand clap be the loudest. Power over sickness. Poder sobre enfermedad. Power over poverty. Poder sobre pobreza. Power over defeat. Y poder sobre derrota. Things always going wrong. Las cosas siempre yendo mal. Get your brake fixed on your car, the air conditioner goes. Los frenos de tu carro se arregla y luego el aire acondicionado falla. One child gets out of prison, the other one gets on drugs. Un hijo sale de la prisión y el otro cae en drogas. Life has been one defeat after another. La vida ha sido una derrota detrás de otra. That's the curse. Esa es la maldición. But when you come under the blessing, 
blessing. Pero cuando viene bajo la bendición, it says all these blessings will pursue you and overtake you. La, la bendición va a cubrirte, va a protegerte. You don't have to look for blessing. Tú no tienes que buscar por bendición. Blessing comes looking for you. La bendición busca por ti. You become like you were a magnet for problems. Como tú eres un imán para problemas. Now you become a magnet for blessing. Ahora tú eres un imán por bendición. Listen to me. Escúchame. There's many people in this room. Hay mucha gente en este salón. Everybody that ever came into your life hurt you. Cada persona que ha entrado en tu vida te ha herido. But now God's going to begin to send people to help you. Pero ahora Dios va a enviar gente que te ayuden. You say like who? Como Dios dice como quién? Who the heck do you think I am? ¿Quién tú crees que soy yo? I came from heaven. Yo vine del cielo. Sent by God. Enviado por Dios. As the first of many. De lo primero de muchos. That are going to help you. Que te va a ayudar. Help is on the way. Ayuda viene de camino. No more defeat. No más derrota. From victory to victory. De victoria en victoria. I said from victory to victory. Yo de victoria en victoria. Today is the lowest you'll ever be. In Jesus' mighty name. If you receive it, stand up on your feet and give God one more shout. Come on, let him hear you all over the nation on TV. Let the devil know he lost you for good. Every man and woman that's watching on TV. There's a phone number at the bottom of the screen. Don't call it in five minutes. Let's call it right now. No, llame cinco minutos, llame ahora. There's great people waiting to pray for you. Hay gran persona esperando por ti. Jesus loves you. Jesús te ama. No matter how bad life has been. No ha sido cuando no importa cuán mal You're only sido. one prayer away. Solamente está una distancia de una oración. The power of God coming and turning everything around. Que el poder de Dios venga y cambie todo. My name's Jonathan Shuttlesworth. Mi nombre es Jonathan Shuttlesworth. I love you. Te amo. I'll be praying for you after tonight. Estaré orando por ti después de esta noche. Call that number right now. Llame ese número ahora. In Jesus' mighty name. En el nombre de Jesús. That was the TV people. Esa fue la gente del televisor. Newark, I really love you. Newark, en verdad yo te amo. And Jesus loves you more than me. Y Jesús te ama mucho más que a mí. And that's a lot. Y eso es mucho. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes. Quiero que incline su cabeza ahí. Cierre sus ojos. It's not up to God to bless you. No es hasta Dios que te bendiga. It's not up to God to bless you. No es para que Dios te se bendiga. It's up to you to choose the blessing. Es tu decisión de escoger la bendición. Let me quote you one more scripture. Déjame de decirte otra escritura. The Bible says today. La Biblia dice hoy. I've set before you life and death. Pongo delante de ti vida y muerte. Blessing and curses. Bendiciones y maldiciones. Oh, that you would choose life. Oh, que escogiera vida. That you might live. Para que vivieras. You have to choose life. Tú tienes que escoger vida. You have to choose blessing. Tú tienes que escoger bendición. Remember all these great blessings. Acuérdate de todas estas bendiciones. They started with one command. Comenzaron con un mandamiento. If you will serve me, si me sirvieres, with all your heart, con todo tu corazón, you will find me. Me vas a encontrar. And I will bless you. Y te bendigo. Did you know if you read the entire Bible? Tú sabes que si lee la Biblia completa. I've read the whole thing. Yo he leído la Biblia completa. God never told anybody thank you. Dios nunca le dijo a nadie gracias. God never said to someone thank you for serving me. Dios nunca le dije dice a nadie gracias por servirme. God never says thank you. Él nunca dice gracias. God just blesses you. Él solo te bendice. He shows his thank you with action. Él lo muestra con acción. Can you say amen? Puedes decir amén. As hard as you may have had it in life. Lo más difícil que tú has tenido en la vida. Your children will never know that battle. Tus hijos nunca van a conocer esa batalla. Every battle that you win in life, your children never have to fight. Cada batalla que tú ganes en la vida, tus hijos jamás lo tendrá que enfrentar. There are people that I'm looking at right now. Hay gente que yo estoy mirando ahora mismo. No one in the history of your family has ever won the battle over poverty. Nadie en la historia de tu familia ha ganado la batalla contra pobreza. But you will be the first tonight. Pero tú serás el primero esta noche. There's people I'm looking at. No one ever won the battle over sickness. Hay gente que yo estoy mirando que nunca nadie ha ganado batalla contra la enfermedad. But you'll be the first tonight. Pero tú serás el primero esta noche. There's people I'm looking at all over this place. Hay personas que yo estoy mirando por todo este lugar. No one has ever won the battle over sin. Nadie ha ganado la batalla sobre pecado. People go to church sometimes. Gente va a la iglesia a veces. But they have a casual relationship with God. Pero tienen una relación casual con Dios. They believe in God. Creen en Dios. But that's not enough. Pero eso no es suficiente. The Bible says you believe there's one God good. La Biblia dice tú crees en un Dios es bueno. Even the demons believe and tremble. Aún los demonios creen y tiemblan. But demons aren't saved. Y los demonios no están salvos. And demons aren't blessed. Y ellos no son bendecidos. Believing in God does not access the blessing. Creyendo en 
en Dios no accesa la bendición. Believing the Bible doesn't access the blessing. Y creyendo en la Biblia no accesa la bendición. The devil knows the scripture. La Biblia, el diablo conoce la escritura. But he's going to spend eternity in hell. Pero él va a pasar la eternidad en el infierno. And if you want to know the truth, si quiere conocer la verdad, there's going to be a lot of Americans that spend eternity in hell. Va a haber muchos americanos pasando la eternidad en el infierno. That believe in Jesus. Que creen en Jesús. Believe the Bible is the word of God. Creen que la Biblia es la palabra de Dios. But they've never taken the action to live according to the Bible. Pero nunca tomaron la acción de vivir la palabra. But that will never be you. Pero eso jamás será usted. Tonight you're going to make a decision that shatters the hold of the devil over your family. Esta noche tú tomas una decisión que rompe todo el ataque del diablo sobre tu familia. You're going to go from believing in the Bible. Tú vas a ir de creyendo en la Biblia. To acting on the Bible. De actuar la Biblia. Faith is action on the word of God. La fe la acción en la palabra de Dios. Faith is acting on the word of God. Fe es actuar en la palabra de Dios. Can you say amen? Puedes decir amén. There's an action you have to take. Hay una acción que tiene que tomar. God didn't say if you believe in me I'll make you the head and not the tail. La Biblia dice que si crees en mí yo te hago la cabeza y no la cola. He said if you will serve me. Él dice así me sirve. With all your heart. Con todo tu corazón. And when you do that. Y cuando hagas eso. The blessings drop for free. Las bendiciones descienden de gratis. Believe me. Créeme. If this didn't work the last thing I'd do is tell other people about it. Si esto no funciona yo no le diría a nadie esto. But it works. Pero funciona. It's been working in our family for 65 years. Ya te ha funcionado mi familia por 65 años. It's been working in Abraham's family for 4000 years. Y por la familia de Abraham por 4000 años. And it's going to start working in your family tonight. Y va a comenzar a funcionar en tu familia. I said it's going to start working in your family tonight. Comienza a funcionar en tu familia esta noche. It only takes one person in a family. Solamente toma una persona de la familia. To say enough is enough. Que diga ya es suficiente. I'm coming over to the winning side. Yo vengo al lado ganador. I'm done struggling. Estoy ya terminando I'm going to be more than a conqueror. Voy a ser más que vencedor. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. A través de Jesucristo, mi Señor. With every head bowed and every eye closed. Con todo ojo cerrado, toda cabeza inclinada. On the final night of this great crusade. La última noche, noche de esta gran cruzada. If you say, Jonathan, that's me. Si tú dices, Jonathan, ese soy yo. I've never committed myself to God. Yo nunca he dedicado mi vida al Señor. I've never made a public commitment to stand up for God. Yo nunca he hecho una decisión pública de ponerme en pie por Dios. To live by His word. De vivir por su palabra. But I'm going to do that tonight. Pero yo hago esto, eso esta noche. And then there's a second group of people. Y hay un segundo grupo de gente. You once made a commitment to serve God. Una vez tú hiciste la decisión de servir a Dios. But things in life went haywire. Pero cosas en la vida comenzó a ir a la otra dirección. You got disconnected. Te desconectaste. You blew out a tire if it were. Eh, quizá destruí, prostaste una goma. And without knowing it, you feared away from God. Y sin darte de cuenta te desfiaste de Dios. But tonight I'm calling you to come back to God. Pero esta noche yo te llamo que regreses a Dios. Come back to God. Regreses a Dios. Permanently. Permanentemente. I'm done living my own way. Estoy cansado de vivir mi vida. I'm going to live according to the word of God. Voy a vivir basado en la palabra de Dios. If that's you and you found either of those two groups. Si ese eres tú y tú caes en el uno de estos dos grupos. In just a minute I'm going to call you forward and we're going to pray together. En unos minutos te voy a llamar que pase al frente y vamos a orar junto. I'm going to close the way that I started on Sunday. Voy a cerrar de la manera que comenzó comencé el domingo. Look up at me quickly. Mírame rápido. The Bible says that Jesus is returning for his bride. La Biblia dice que Jesús regresa por su esposa. He calls the church his bride. Él llama a la iglesia a su esposa. What's the difference between a bride, a fiance and a girlfriend? ¿Y qué la diferencia entre esposa comprometida y una amiga. All three women loved the guy. Las tres amaron al hombre. But only one has stood at an altar and made a public covenant. Pero solo uno se paró en el altar y hizo un pacto. I'm with you forever. Estoy por contigo por siempre. And that's why we give altar calls. Y por eso que hacemos llamado de altar. There's a lot of Americans that date Jesus. Hay muchos americanos que tienen cita con Jesús. They go on a date with him every Christmas and every Easter. Ellos van a una cita todos los Navidad y todo Easter. There's a lot of people that are engaged to Jesus. Hay mucha gente que están comprometido con Jesús. They're meaning to make a commitment someday. Se reúne para tener relación el domingo. But that doesn't cut it. Pero eso no es suficiente. Tonight you're not going to date Jesus. Esta noche tú no vas a tener cita con Jesús. You're not going to be engaged to Jesus. Y no vas a estar comprometido con él. You're going to become the bride of Christ. Tú vas a ser la esposa de Jesús. And give him your life. Y darte tu vida. And God will join his life to yours. Y él une su vida con la tuya. And the blessings will flow. Y las bendiciones fluyen. The blessings will flow. If you believe it, can you say amen? Si lo cree, dígame.
every person that you fall into one of those two groups. Cada persona que cae en uno de estos dos grupos. Either you've never received Jesus, o nunca has recibido Jesús, or you once did but you fell away. O un día lo hiciste pero te apartaste. He's knocking at your heart right now. Él está tocando la puerta de tu corazón He's ahora. not holding your sin against you. Él no tiene el pecado en contra tuya. The Bible says no matter who you are or what you've done, we all can be saved in this like manner. La Biblia dice no importa quién eres o lo que has hecho, todos podemos ser salvos. If you humble yourself tonight, si te humillas esta noche, and say Jonathan, y diga Jonathan, the truth is, if I had to meet the Lord in 60 seconds, la verdad es que si tengo que conocer al Señor en 60 segundos, I'm not ready to meet Him. No estoy listo para encontrarme con él. I've made things a part of my lifestyle that the Bible calls sin. Yo he hecho cosas en mi vida como un estilo de vida que la Biblia llama pecado. But I'm not going to finish like I started. Pero yo no voy a terminar como comencé. Today I make a decision. Esta noche yo tomo una decisión. To get rid of sin. I'm not going to let sin get rid of me. If you know you need to do that tonight, I want you to boldly put your hand up high and wave it at me and we're going to pray. Keep them up. That makes my night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're going to open up a gate in the center. Van a abrir un portón en el they're going to open up a gate here and they've opened up a gate there. Y un portón a mi derecha Everybody izquierda. that lifted a hand and meant business with God. Todo lo que levantaron la mano y están serio con Don't Dios. miss your marriage ceremony. Come right now and we're going to pray. Venga tu ceremonia matrimonial. Come right now. Venga ahora. Hallelujah. Go ahead and say. Well, God's able to do just what he said. Every promise to you Don't give up on God Because when you make the move, God honors it right when you make the move. It feels good to do the right thing. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. I want you to say this from the bottom of your heart. You're not praying to an idol. You're not making a religious confession. There's a real God that hears this prayer. The Bible says he takes out your old heart and he puts in a new heart. And so make sure you say it loud. Asegúrese que lo diga fuerte. The prayer that I lead you in is in the Bible. La oración que yo le llevo se está en la Biblia. If you believe with your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Si tú crees en tu corazón que Dios levantó a Jesús entre los muertos. And confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. Y confiesa con tu boca que Jesucristo es el Señor, será salvo. Lift both hands to the Lord. Levanta las dos manos ante el Señor. Say this prayer after me. Diga esta oración. Say this to your heavenly Father. Diga Padre celestial. I've come forward tonight He pasado esta noche to give you my life. Da, a darte mi vida. Forgive me of all my sins. Perdóname de todos mis pecados. Wash me in your blood. Lávame en tu sangre. I believe in my heart. Creo en mi corazón. 
You raised Jesus from the dead. Tú levantaste Jesús entre los muertos. I confess with my mouth. Confieso con mi boca. Jesus Christ. Jesucristo is King of Kings. Es Señor de señores. Lord of Lords. Rey de reyes. And my Savior. Y mi Salvador. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Entra mi corazón, Señor Jesús. Fill me with your power. Lléname con tu poder. Where I was weak, make me strong. Donde era débil, hazme fuerte. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Now say this to every devil in Newark can hear you. Say, Say I am saved. I am a Christian. Soy cristiano. God is my father. Dios es mi padre. My sins are forgiven. Mis pecados son perdonados. I'm on my way to heaven. Voy camino al cielo. I will not turn back. No voy a devolver atrás. I'm not under the curse. Yo no estoy bajo la maldición. I am redeemed. Soy redimido. I am blessed. Soy bendecido. In the name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesús. Now lift your hands and just begin to thank God out of your mouth that it's done. Ahora levanta la mano y comienza a agradecer a Dios que ya está hecho. It's done. Está hecho. It's done. Está hecho. Now, when you look in the mirror when you go home, ahora cuando te vean el espejo cuando llega a tu casa, if you were black you're still black. Si eres moreno sigue siendo moreno. If you were white you're still white. Y si eres blanco sigue siendo blanco. If you're a woman you're still a woman. Y si eres mujer sigue siendo mujer. On the outside you don't notice the change. De afuera no ve el cambio. But you are a new creature. Pero tú eres nueva criatura. The old life is dead. La vida vieja murió. Oh, Things have become new. Todo se ha hecho nuevo. So you, that's why we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. Por eso que no caminamos por vista, caminamos you por faith. You didn't join a religion, you've been born again. Tú no, nací, no te uniste a una religión, naciste de nuevo. Just like you had something inside of you that led you to sin. Lo mismo que tú tenías algo de adentro que te guiaba al pecado. Now God put something inside of you that leads you to righteousness. Ahora Dios puso algo para que te lleve a la justicia. Lift your hands at the altar. Levanta tus manos aquí en el altar. And permit me to bless you. Y permíteme bendecirte. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Te bendigo en el nombre del Señor. I declare you the head and never the tail. I declare you above and not beneath. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed when you come in and when you go out. The Lord orders his angels to protect you wherever you go. As you stay serving God, nothing will cut your life short. No sickness, no enfermedad, no disease, no dolencia, no bullets, no balas, no car crashes. Y tampoco accidente de vehículos. You are blessed. Tú eres bendecido. And who God has blessed, no devil can curse. Y a quien Dios ha bendecido, ningún demonio puede maldecir. Receive that blessing now. Recibe la bendición ahora. Be healed in your body. Sé sano en tu cuerpo. Sickness has no right to your body. En la enfermedad no tiene derecho a tu cuerpo. In your bloodstream, en tu sangre, in your organs, en tus órganos, in your central nervous system. Be thou made whole. Be sano ahora. Be thou made whole. Help her up to the, to the platform. I'm going to pray for you up here. The Lord's going to touch you. I mean, she can use the steps. It's not the Titanic. Lift your hands one more time. Levanta tus manos una vez más. Everyone that's standing in front of me that was appointed to death, toda la persona que están delante de mí que fue asignado a muerte, you will live and not die. Tú vas a vivir y no morir. You will live and not die. Tú vas a vivir y no morir. And declare the goodness of the Lord while you're in the land of the living. Y declara la bendición del Señor en la tierra de los vivientes. Lord's going to touch you. Lift your hands to the Lord. I would never embarrass anybody, and I don't think you'd be embarrassed anyway. But every time I do these meetings, God brings people in that literally, if he didn't touch them, they were going to die. So the Lord's going to take something out of your body right now, and you'll live a long time. In fact, it's already out. And now the miracle working power God goes right into you.
the taste of that stuff off your lip and tongue so the devil will never use it again to bring you back into that stuff that would kill you. Thou found spirit of nicotine and other things. His fire, and you're going to do great things for God. Like that guy that, that I called out in prison, the Lord's going to use you. You're not just going to serve God. Si tú viviste un estilo de vida antes de esta noche, you know, when you get involved in drugs, cuando te envuelves en una vida de drogas, there's things you have to do to get the drugs. Hay cosas que tienes que hacer para uh, accesar las drogas. And so it's almost like the devil kills you two ways. Es, es como si el diablo te mata dos veces. The drugs destroy your lungs and heart. Eh, la droga destruye tus pulmones y corazón. And your bloodstream. Y la sangre. And then when you have to sleep with people and all that, then it, it, you get more disease to kill you. It's y like a double attack. Y cuando te tienes que acostar con gente para recibir la droga, pues es como un ataque doble. And so every person in the sound of my voice. So cada persona el sonido de mi voz. That either you are on drugs. O, o estás en drogas. Or you used to be on drugs years ago. O antes estaba en drogas años atrás. And you got free from the drugs, but you still have stuff in your body. Y eres libre de las drogas, pero todavía hay cosas en tu cuerpo. Now you're a new creature. Ahora nueva, no eres nueva criatura. Everything that came from the old life is now dead. Todo lo que vino de la vida vieja está muerto. God gives you a new bloodstream. Dios te da sangre nueva. God gives you a new heart and lungs. Él te da nuevo corazón y pulmones. God gives you a clean body. Él te da un cuerpo limpio. I declare you healed. Te declaro sano. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Now, after praying for all that kind of stuff, this seems like a small thing. Ahora que he orado por todas estas cosas, esto suena un poco pequeño. And I don't think I've ever prayed for this at any festival of life before. Y yo creo que nunca he orado por esto en ningún festival de vida. But lift your hands. Levanta sus manos. Every person in the sound of my voice that because of drugs or just because of poverty. Y cada persona sonido de mi voz por pobreza o, o por drogas. You have broken teeth or pain in your gums and teeth. Eh, tiene dientes rotos o dolor en la encía. The Lord heals it right now. Dios lo sana ahora. The Lord heals your gums. Dios sana tu encía. The Lord heals your messed up teeth that cause you pain. Y el sana el, el diente que causa dolor. Be whole in Jesus' name. Se sano ahora. For the Lord healed them of all their diseases. Every sickness and disease doesn't follow you from this altar. You leave here healed in Jesus' name. If you believe it, can you say amen? There. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray one more prayer before we give you a Bible and stuff. Voy a hacer una oración más antes de entregarte una Biblia. But these will be my last words. Pero te va a ser mis últimas palabras. I welcome you to the family of God. Te doy la bienvenida a la familia de Dios. Your sins are all forgiven. Tus pecados son perdonados. You're as saved as I am. Tú eres tan salvo como yo. But now I leave. Pero ahora yo me voy. And you have to follow after God. Y ahora tú tienes que seguir y servir a Dios. I can't make you go to church. Yo no puedo hacer que tú vayas a la iglesia. I'm not going to show up in your bedroom Sunday morning at 8 yo no voy a aparecer en tu cuarto a las ocho y media de la mañana. Say get up and then help get you dressed. Y si levántate y ayudarte a vestirte. The same way you made a bold step tonight. De la misma manera que se siente un paso firme esta noche. Where would be a good place to be this Sunday morning? ¿Dónde sería un buen lugar de estar este domingo? Where? ¿Dónde? Church. Iglesia. 
Whatever can't keep you from church can't keep you from heaven. De lo que no te puede aguantar de la iglesia no te puede tener de la, la, el cielo. And whatever can keep you from church will keep you from heaven. Y lo que te puede sí detener de la iglesia te puede detener del cielo. The devil tries to get people isolated and then kill them. El diablo trata de mantener gente lejos y después matarlo. But he'll never isolate you. Pero nunca te va a mantener solo. Those pastors that I thanked at the beginning. Esos pastores que yo agradecí al comienzo. They're gonna follow up on you. Ellos van a darte seguimiento. But no one should have to invite you. Pero nadie debe de invitarte. Just go. Hey. I mean, be there. If, if ISIS is in the front of the church, punch them in the face and go in anyway. Can you say amen? If you go to church on Sunday, when you go to church on Sunday, if somebody's mean to you in church, you have my permission. Take a hymnal and hit them in the head. If somebody's mean to you on your first day, that's the devil using somebody to try to discourage you and get you out of church. You're not following Christians, you're following Jesus. Don't let somebody that has a bad attitude run you out of church. Make up your mind you're going to be planted in the house of God. Can you say amen? Where are you going to be this Sunday? Church. Where are you going to be? One more time. Where are you going to be this Sunday? Because I don't want this to be a good week of your life. I want this to be a catalyst where everything turned around for good. Yo no Amen. Raise your children in the house of God. Cría tus hijos en la casa de Dios. You marry a different spouse in church than you do in a club. Tu casa una persona diferente en una iglesia que un club. So teach your children to fish in a different pond for their boyfriends and girlfriends. Enseña a tus hijos a buscar por novio en otro lago. Can, can you say amen? amen? Can you say a better amen? amen? You're gonna, you, how many of you are going to follow through on this in Jesus' name? Amen. Now, I'm not even going to pray for you in the pink. Just lift your hands. I tell you, like, nine things got turned around just now. You'll never go back. You'll not die. You're going to have the best five months you've ever had. So I'll just say congratulations. Jesus is getting involved in your life right now. And you'll never be the same. God bless you. Give Jesus a big, big hand clap one more time. Now, these are my friends. One has an orange shirt and one has a black shirt. Estos son mis amigos. I bought a bunch of Bibles Compramos mucha Biblia. that are written in a translation that's easy to read. Que está escrito una traducción que es fácil de entender. So it's not in 17th century English. No es una idioma difícil. And so fill out the card they give you and then they'll give you that Bible and so, I'll see you again. Llena esa hoja que te van a entregar y te vamos a ver luego después de la Biblia. God bless you in Jesus name. Dios te bendiga en el nombre de Jesús. I love you in Jesus name. Les amo en el nombre de Jesús. And I'll see you again. Y Go ahead, give them a big hand clap as they come. Go ahead, God.
called the prayer of faith. Esto se llama la oración de la fe. I actually like Christians just like I like sinners. Yo amo cristianos de la misma manera que amo pecadores. So we got the sinner saved, and I assume if you stayed in that great seat, you already served the Lord. Si ya hemos salvado a los pecadores y te quedaste sentado porque ya recibes recibiste al Señor. Before I go, I want every person to lift both hands to the Lord. Y antes de irme, yo quiero que cada persona levanta levante sus manos al cielo. Open your heart. Abre tu corazón. And the Lord's going to touch you right now. Y Dios va a tocarte ahora mismo. Father, as I preached this Padre, out of your word, Padre, mientras yo he predicado esto de tu palabra, that your blessing will make your body the head and never the tail. Que tu bendición hará que tu cuerpo sea la cabeza y no la cola. Let every struggle that's represented in these seats be erased permanently now. Permita que cada lucha representada en este lugar sea borrado ahora. No more struggling. Ya no más luchas. No more fighting. No más peleas. No more nothing working out. No más que nada esté funcionando. I thank you for your word, Father. Te doy gracias por tu palabra, Padre. You said that you'll lift the heavy burden. Tú dijiste que va a levantar el yugo difícil. And you'll give them a different yoke. Y tú le va a dar un yugo diferente. And that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Y tu yugo es fácil. I bless the people in this hall. Yo bendigo el pueblo en este salón. I bless those watching on Facebook. Y bendigo aquellos que están viendo a través de Facebook. I bless the Symphony Hall ushers. Y yo bendigo los ujieres del salón de Symphony. I bless everybody that can hear me. Y yo bendigo cada persona que me pueda oír. May nothing return to normal after tonight. Que nada vuelva a la normalidad después de esta noche. May they get news before Sunday night. Que ellos reciban noticias antes del domingo. That things have turned in their favor. Que cosas han cambiado a su favor. And before they have a chance to celebrate that, may two more things drop in Jesus' name. Y antes de que celebren eso, permite que dos cosas más desciendan del cielo. I thank you that your word says surely. Te doy gracias que tu palabra dice ciertamente. Not hopefully, surely. Dice ciertamente. Goodness and mercy. La bien y la misericordia. Will follow them. Me seguirán. All the days of their life. Todos los días de su vida. I thank you for two miracles every day. Te doy gracias por dos milagros cada día. In Jesus mighty name. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús. This lady with the silvery hair, a uh, gray sweater. Right here. Just stand up and step into the aisle. Yeah. You, it's you. Yes. Just step into the aisle. You're not in trouble. Lift both hands, close both eyes. Power of God's all over you. Not only for you, but for everybody that you're standing for you were lifting your hands believing for other people as well the Lord touches you right now the Lord touches you right now and then the Lord goes and touches all the family members you were believing for in Jesus name this lady in the pink Turns out I'm going to pray for you after. I'll just step out and lift both hands. In Jesus' mighty name. Right there is fine. Lift both hands. Put, keep your right hand up to the Lord. Put your left hand on your belly. In Jesus' name. The power of God goes right through your body. Everything that causes pain or discomfort. There it is. Go right out. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Brother, I don't want to miss you. I saw you all three nights. You're great. You locked in on the anointing. God's going to use you. Praise the Lord. My family here, step out all four of you into the back. Let me pray for you. In Jesus' mighty name. I feel the presence of God so strongly. Congratulations on the best five months in the ministry you've ever had. You too. You, you, you're welcome. Watch what the Lord does through you. You're going you're gonna to have a good time. How far you lift your hands? And Nancy, you keep your right hand up. Put your left hand where your heart and lungs are. What God started in Asbury Park comes to completion now. In Jesus' mighty name. You too, Melissa. Thank God for the one miracle. The Lord will give you another miracle for your body right now. There it is. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Be whole. There it is. Four.
Wu-Tang Clan? Just listen to them and ask them. Give us your hand. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Just lift your hands all over the auditorium. both hands, close both eyes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just lift your hands and begin to worship the Lord. It's better to get it yourself than to watch other people get it. This isn't a psychic show on Coney Island. God will touch everybody. This usher here, just lift both hands to the Lord. God will give you a promotion before December won't have to work as many hours and you'll have more money. Yeah, there it is. In Jesus name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations. Nice preacher. This lady with the nice jacket and purse right here. Would you step out to that aisle there? Would you step out to that aisle. Lift both your hands, close both eyes. As you do, the fire of God comes upon you. Fuego! Now, when they say they push those people down, it's hard to push somebody down from 20 feet away. Praise the Lord. This lady here. Oh, I pray for you. Come on, come. God's not a communist. You can have more than one. Lift both hands, close both eyes. Some people shake, some people fall down, some people just stand, doesn't matter. If the goal was to fall down, I'd have had everybody lay down at 7.30, get up and dismiss. This lady here in that bur nice burgundy shirt, come right out. Our God's all over you. Jesus loves you. Jesus is wonderful, you know. I want to tell the world about him till, till I go up and meet him myself. Hallelujah. Lift both hands to the Lord. Keep your right hand up, put your left hand on your belly. Jesus' mighty name. Red India, the healing power of God. In Jesus' name. Be filled. There it is. In Jesus' name. I don't see you. Merry Christmas. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Nice having you in the meetings. God bless you. Put your other hand on your lungs. All lung damage, Lord, there it is. The Lord restores it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Just lift your hands right there. You're like that other guy, I saw you all the all the nights locking into the anointing. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be anointed with fresh oil. And I tell you from tonight, you'll never be able to hook in with things you used to do, even if your friends convince you to go with them. You, you just leave. You'll leave after like five or ten minutes because there's a new you now. So congratulations. If I don't see you again in Newark, I'll see you in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Just lift your hands one more time. Begin to tell the Lord you love him. I won't go too many more minutes so you can we'll do the other round of giveaways. Now, Anybody that's blind in one or both eyes from diabetes, blood sugar, glaucoma, any of that, I curse blindness in all its form. This lady, this lady in the um, blue, I think it's denim, but I can't tell from here. No, it's just a nice dress here. This lady right here, come right out in the aisle. Power of God's all over you. That's the miracle working power of God. your hands. Now before I pray for her, just remember, when you leave here and somebody says, I think that's a scam, how much money did you get charged any of the six nights? So if this is a scam, this is the worst scam in the history of all scams. What con artist pays $140,000 and gets zero? <laughs> that's a scam. Well, that's a pretty terrible one. How much did you have to pay to get prayed for tonight? That's right. The power of God's free. You access it by faith. I get paid by God. 
Take your uh, left hand and put it where your belly is. And then put your other hand on your head. I tell you, the Lord heals your pancreas right now. Your blood levels go to normal. And your eyes become clear. That's it. Like me, don't pretend like you don't want to. Hallelujah. That's the fire of God. Both of us. This lady in the white right here. I don't know you, but I'll bless you. Be blessed. This lady here. This. Look at you, moving with no cane. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is awesome. Lift your hands to the Lord. You think he's done? Put one hand on your belly. shirt. I prayed for you uh, last night, I think. You step out to the side. Just lift your hands right there. You don't have to come any closer. Close both eyes. As you do, the fire of God falls on you right now. Lift your hands all the way up. Filled in Jesus' name. Right through you. say you know then the other thing they'll say is they pay those people to do that where do you find the people I'll get healed for cash.com somebody say Jesus is real I'll fall under the power for cash.com lift your hands both of you lift your hands as well I'm gonna start with you I'll be back for you not any not anymore you won't Lift your one hand to the Lord and put the other one on your lungs. COPD, you foul spirit of infirmity, I curse you. Turn loose of the woman now. There it is. Go right into you. oxygen in Newark. Stray bullet, you'll blow up two city blocks. Be whole in Jesus' name. I remember you, Michael. Be blessed in Jesus' name. I love you. I'm going to miss you.
Well, that's all I got. I leave tonight, but Jesus will never leave you. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Be blessed. Shout and decido in Jesus' name. I love you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.